Hello. Hi, everybody. Waiting on people to show up. Anybody there? No one's there. Taking out my retainer. <laughs> if anyone's watching this from the playback. <laughs> All right. I don't know if this is working or not. Oh, I see one person on. Whoever is on, if you can leave a comment and let me know who you are. Hi, Deborah. Hi, E Dreams. Crafty Chats. June, Tracy, Tammy, Robin. Hi, guys. Oops, hold on. Someone's coming in. Hi. Hi, Chris. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. <laughs> Hi! Hi! I'm trying to see if I can see the comments on, uh, here we go. I think I can see the comments. Oh, hold on. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I have a little tiny screen on my phone, but I have my iPad right here, so I'm trying to... See, I, I just have my phone, so I can't see any comments. I apologize. I... Ugh. I know, but I wonder, like, how I can make you see comments, because it would be so much better. Sorry. I don't know how to do it. Well, 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 hang on, hang on. Can you go to okay, more? Well, um, let's see. Okay, all right, now I can see the comments, but I can't see the video at all. I mean, well, all right, how about, how about this? How about this? I mean, I can, see, I can see that I'm waving my hand right now, but it's through like this sort of like gray storm shutters. Oh. Um, so it's like, you know, okay, well, I mean, you know, Let's see, I got Laura and June and Jade and Quilty Crochet and Susan and E Dreams. Hello, hello, hello. Um, so you know what? I don't I don't really need to see myself, you know. Um, I, I'd like to see you, but I don't need to see myself, you know. Well, as long as I can see you, that's fine. Well, hey, hey. <laughs> it's such a pretty face. Oh. I mean, that was the whole point of doing this. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Um, I sent the link to Russ and it said that it isn't working for him. Huh. Yeah. Um, hmm. Maybe I need to send it to him? Maybe. I don't know. But I mean, I it, it, it should work. You know, send send um, him my phone number. Send him my phone number and tell him to text me and I'll text him. I'll send him the link. Oh, Ru there he is. Russ. Oh, yes. There's Russ. Mr. He's Russ. In, he's in I there, but... Right. Well, I mean, I see, I see, you know, hello all. Yes, Russ. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everybody. What did we have? 42 people in here. Hi. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we, we all just got off a bag of day live stream. So ah. everyone's tired of being live. <laughs> no, I, I, I saw the, the notification, but I am, I, I'm, I'm working on a virus doll right oh, now. One, like one those. of, one of umpteen I gajillion. Like well, you know, Hi, once Doris. you get into once you get into the groove, it's like you just go on autopilot. Hey, Doris. Hi, Belia. Hi, Rachel. Hi, everyone. If I missed you. Hi, Christy. Maribel. Oh my goodness, fifty people in here. Holy crap! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so send send cool. Russ my phone number. Oh, ooh, look ooh. at that. <laughs> um. Here, what do I have? Mr. Dibbs. All right, now I got to close out of the chat here. I... Oh! It's a yarn oh! fairy. That's so adorable. Someone made this for me, and she even has a bag of yarn. That and it's is got, so it's cute. Got yarn in there, and, and I oops, see purple. I see and purple. And a crochet hook and everything. Isn't that That's cute? So Cute. I love it. And the hair is awesome. <laughs> Here, hair she'll is just like, be me for tonight. It, <laughs> it's like, to talk to her. It, it's sort of like a mini Bette Midler. Right? But look, she's got wings and everything. She's well, got she's wings. like that. Isn't she that cute? Is really, that is cute. Um, so let me see. Someone said they're obsessed with making your granny ripple afghan. Oh, hi, Sandy. Left his right crochet. I Anything granny. You know, like I am like, seriously, anything granny, granny. Um, you know what? Um, you know what? 
to send him your phone number, then I have to like X out. So can I hop right back on in just a minute? I guess if you want to leave me high and dry, that's fine. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to be all accommodating and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Hey, Sandy, okay. left is right. Do you want to come on our live stream? If you do, I, I you will, have to send me a message. I will be back momentarily. Okay. Okay. Bye. Toodles. <laughs> okay, now it's just me, everybody. <laughs> How is everybody doing tonight? I don't know if anyone was just on Crystal's live, but um, that was pretty exciting. Um, if you guys weren't on there, she wanted to help Pamela's Adoring Crochet get to 15,000, and she did it. It was like so awesome. Oh my goodness. So, what's everybody up to? Put a, oh, hi, Sarah. Oh my gosh. I love you, Sarah. <laughs> I have a cousin named Sarah. She's my favorite cousin. Um, oh, Russ, you were on her live. Yeah, that was pretty cool. You, Robin was watching Craig's tutorial. Ah, oh, Maribel. <laughs> Hi, free handling maid. How you doing? Are you from Australia? How exciting. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Diana. How are you? That was so cool. Like Crystal has so much power, right? Like she just got, she got someone to like 15 K in what half an hour. That was awesome. So what's everybody doing tonight? Well, you know what? Can you all tell me where you're from? I would love to know where you're from. You could see the, I think I put the title Saturday night in Chicago. So, um, Montana. Oh, the AU means autistics unites. That is so cool. I love Montana. It's beautiful. Sonia is from Texas. Deborah's from Ohio. Quilty Crocheter, Indiana. Ooh, Connecticut. Hi, Maribel. Tammy is from North Carolina, Mississippi, Southern Illinois, South Carolina, Pennsylvania, Ireland. Hi, June. Oh, Therese, I know where you are. Uh, Florida, Ohio, UK, Canada, Michigan. Oh my gosh. Hi, Janet. I know you're down, you're down there. Boston, Georgia, Oklahoma. Oh, Sandy, you got to send me a message so that I can send you the link. Can you send it? I don't know how you do it. Email? Facebook Messenger? I don't think you have my phone number. Text message? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Natalie. Oh, my gosh. Chicago in the house. Yeah. Uh, New Mexico, Wisconsin. Oh, hi, Australia. Hi, Laura. Ohio, UK. Oh, my goodness. Sweden. I love Sweden. Okay, hold on. There's someone else here coming in. Fiber Spider is back. How exciting to have you back. You I told you I, I, I'm like a bad penny. <laughs> Can't get rid of you, huh? <laughs> no. No, actually, Watch from Chicago. what I heard, from I what I heard, actually, darn. it it costs more to make pennies than what they're worth. Hi, Sean. How yes. funny is that? Except now everyone is there's a coin shortage, so I know irony. Coin. Yeah, so weird. Total irony. So, did you send him my phone number? I did. Okay. Yes. Sandy from and Left is Right Crochet said she's going to come on too, but I don't know how she's going to message me. Because I don't know how to do this other than send someone a link, right? I'm I'm not familiar. Um, you know, like, I mean, the only, like, messaging I do, like, I've done Zoom, I've done StreamYard, and I do, for my own personal usage, I do uh, Facebook Messenger you know, video chats, but I mean, that, that's the extent of it. And it's like always me joining somebody else because right. I'm, I'm defunct like that. Okay. So you're going to have to talk, talk uh, amongst yourself for a second. Cause Sandy needs the link. So hold on a second here. I'm you got it. That. All right. Let me hop into chat. Hello chat. Russ says he's working on it. Okay. Let's see. Susan's art world, obsessive crochet disorder. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Cozy cottage, new cardigan, Diana. No, I have not. Ooh, it's a granny. Uh-oh. Look out world. Um, let's see. Joan says, can I please, 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 please do a granny bucket hat. Hmm. 
Hmm, there's a thought for you. I mean, I've done some granny style ish hats. Um, and E Dreams loves my beanie. Thank you. It's the Celtic weave. I do have a tutorial. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, I would say it's like an advanced, you know, it's certainly not beginner. I would say like intermediate to advanced because you're crossing over treble crochet. So you're like, okay, fiber says what? Um, <laughs> but <laughs> you know, it, it, it does work. It just takes some practice. Um, you know, hey, Doris and Tammy, uh, pineapple peacock shawl. Ooh, that's, I think I've seen that one. That's pretty um left is right you know hey you know what it, it's it's a fun hat you know it's definitely a fun hat um and this one was i think in pumpkin spice uh pound of love and uh it's it's seen a lot of usage um i've worn it in many 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 videos because the heat is usually not on um you know so Let's see. Okay, so we what? have Sandy from Left is Right Crochet who's going to join us, and I just sent Russ the link. So hopefully groovy. we'll have a couple more people. Groovy, groovy. I'm on a never-ending fiber live binge. <laughs> you guys There's are so funny. Well, you're just trying to keep regular. Me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't even... Dude, I have a colonoscopy <laughs> scheduled for next week, okay? Oh, I need oh. to be as regular as I can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, well, it, it's, it's funny, though, because um, just recently it happened again where somebody wrote uh, a comment saying, wait a minute. Did Oops. Oh, hello. One way, hey, Craig. How you doing? Hi, Andy. Hi. Hey, Rose, darling. How are you? Good. How are you? Trying to get... Where am I? Who am I? Where am I? <laughs> How are we doing? Oh it is it is God. confusing because you're like moving the opposite know, way that you're backwards. moving. You're you know, right. I, I, I get on, it. On the other hand, Look left is right. Look so at how it's, fancy it's, Sandy is with her headphones. I mean, come on, really? I, oh, I hate that. I hate the fact that I have to do that. But I've got <laughs> that so that I can computer in the living room while Mr. Wright's watching television. Ah, uh -huh. And it doesn't interrupt his television. So I'm just... Uh -huh. uh, Oh, uh, come oh, on. Craig. <laughs> come on. Now you're both showing Whoa. off. Breaker, breaker, Whoa. one nine. Breaker, breaker, one nine. That's a big 10 for good. Come buddy. in. Come in. <laughs> hey, Sandy, do you know Fiber Spider? Um, We have never met. Well, there that, you go. Personal. Sandy, this is Fiber Spider. Fiber Spider, this is Sandy. I have made no. many, 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 many of your patterns. Oh. Love oh, them. I hope you like them. Love them. Love them. Love them. Oh, yes. thank you. And of hey. course, I, I have a weekly live and I always have something on the back of my chair. And everybody's, where'd you get that? I thought, Fiber spider. Fiber spider. Fiber spider. Mm -hmm. Fiber spider. <laughs> oh. Hey, Craig, someone wants to, uh, Doris wants to know if the hat is made with Pound of Love and Terracotta. Actually, well, Pound of Love, yes, but I think it's Pumpkin Spice. Mm -hmm. Oh. Wow. Yeah, because, well, the, the pumpkin spice, it's a little bit more orange. The terracotta, it's a bit more pinkish. Okay. I'm saying hi to everybody. It's saying hi Actually, to me. Actually, wait a minute. We got Robin and Freehandly oh. and Diana and... Occupational hazard. I'm getting tangled. Oh. Uh -uh. <laughs> well, well you know, if it's not a microphone cord, it's a yarn. There you go. Uh, so, Rose, what have you been up to besides wings? Hey, Russell. Oh. Hi, Russ. Oh. Hey, Russ. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. So, oh. uh, so Craig, when you get untangled, can you please introduce us to Russ and uh, explain how we know, all know him? Okay. Well, Russ is a good friend of mine and has been for, I want to say, mm, five-ish years now. Um, started with a comment that he left and we just started chit chatting, you know, um, back and forth. And, um, you know, like and, you. you know, he, he, my buddy, um, and he is a knitter, crocheter, uh, knows how to spin. And mm. he is, um, see, I, I thought I had a yarn problem. Oh no, no. Russ has a yarn problem. <laughs> 
<laughs> Guilty as charged. Yes. It's not a, it's not a problem. More so he, he qualifies. It, but it's really not a problem. No, yeah. it's not a problem. no. No. What? He wanted oh, to say hi. Robin says that Russ likes to send yarn. <laughs> oh, yeah. well, to make room one. for more yarn. Hey, Dreams, Laura, Terry, how you doing? Quilty. <sighs> oh, Russell, Sandy, you can see the comments, right? I can, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, uh, Russell, do you have on um, this? I'm sorry, I don't know. Do you have a channel? No, I do not. Craig ah. keeps um, hounding me to get one. Yeah. Why not? Let's do Why it. Why not? Uh, time. Okay, what? What's that's time? legit. Yeah, what is that concept? What is this thing he speaks of? Yeah. Uh, it's an unknown work, concept to me. <laughs> I work like 70 hours a week. Oh, that's so. it. That's oh, it. Dear. You're like my yeah. husband. He does the same thing, yeah. What, Russ, what do you do? Um, I'm a supervisor at a factory. I'm oh. third shift. Oh, oh. Isn't this well, it your nap works time out, then? Though, because it, it that's works how, out that's where he gets his time to crochet. You know, when when he's at work, I'm I'm totally awake because you know it's it's like the wee hours, and I'm like, oh, I'm I'm awake, I'm stitching, I'm doing my thing, and we'll chit chat back and forth occasionally, you know. So that works. It does. Yeah, that's fun. That way, you're not lonely. Mm -mm. And I'm not bored. <laughs> nope. No, well, I, I keep it interesting. Reciprocity, love it. Russ, mm. I don't know if you can see the comments, but someone asked if you worked in a yarn factory. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be dangerous. That would actually, be so Oh my God, Billy dangerous. the Crafty Floridian is in the chat and so is Shell Shell Crochet. Hey, Shut Billy the darling. front door. Oh my God. I just spent a week in Florida with Billy. I'm so jealous. It oh my God. I would rose. love to meet Billy. Oh, she's amazing. Oh, I bet. I what bet. a kick in the sluts ran us <laughs> to death. That girl, she's just amazing. <laughs> what, oh. oh my gosh. Hey, <sighs> Billy, do you want to join our, our stream? Let me know. You have to send me a message and I'll send you the link. Same thing with oh, you, Shell. You want to come? Can we have more than four people? You can have six. Russ, Russ, you got a request. Could you put your phone on landscape? Yep, I'm working on it. Thank you. Oh, look at that. He didn't even go sideways. I'm so impressed. <laughs> It's a nice. There you go. Look at you. All sideways. So, to clarify, um, so whatchamacallit? So this this is the um whatchamacallit, the pumpkin okay. spice. This is terracotta. So ah. you can see that there there is a difference. It's not a tremendous difference, but there is a, this one's a little bit more pink. So yeah. A little bit of a totally difference. see the difference. The yeah, I mean they're deeper. they're in the same family. They're totally close, um, but just just for clarification purposes, they share custody of the kids. Yeah, got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shell can't join, but she says thanks for the offer. That's okay. Hey, Shell, Shell, darling. Oh, Billy, can you join us? Let me know. Oh, she says I'll join for a minute. Okay, I've got a thing I got to do. I'm so flattered that you asked me. I love oh, you yay. very, very much. Craig, really nice meeting you, you finally. Too. I've been you following too. you for years. Oh, well, and thank Russell, you. do your channel. Yes, yeah, well, I get a really you. funky name, get a cute little name, and join us. It is too much fun. Just too much fun. <clears throat> too much work. Even... No, it's not work <laughs> at all. I do a live every Thursday night. I sit here and chat with everybody like friends, show yarn, talk about hooks and stuff like that. And that's it. I don't have, mm -hmm. I don't edit. I don't do nothing. So it's, it's not that much work. That well, I was, I was trying to come up with like, excuse. I was trying to come up with a name, uh, you know, for him, you know, something, something snappy, but I, I, you know, we, we never hammered that down. You know, uh -huh. but, yeah. Yeah. You know, one of these days, I'd like to see it happen. Riveting Russell. <laughs> that could work. Well, I'm, I'm yeah. seeing comments down at the bottom of the screen now. Yeah, yeah because I'm, I'm trying to... Name suggestions, guys, for Russell. Sandy, how do I get that comment off of there? 
Well, I think it's just, there it is. Oh, there there okay. Okay. So I sent a link to Billy. So hopefully Billy will join us. Yeah. I hope so. Okay. Yeah. I, like I say, I'm going to, I'm going to, when she gets here, I'll, I'll give her my love and duck out. Oh, that's so nice. Well, I, oh, thank yeah. you for coming it was, on. It was just amazing. Um, I think, don't quote me, but I think they're going to try to do a get together next year again. Uh, somewhere Hi, central, Laura. like maybe Chicago. <coughs> I don't know. Someone else want to plan that? No, no, <laughs> I'm not asking you to plan it. No, somebody else is going to plan it, but that's what oh, they're talking cool. about central I'll in go. the country. Yeah. I'll go. Mad thank Mimi you is for forever. I'm sorry. Hi, Be forever creative. Thank oh. you. Hi, Laura. Hi, Laura. He says, holy moly, it's Sandy. <laughs> it's always three times. It's. <laughs> It's a story. It's a thing. It goes back. One night, I miss saying hi to her, and I never heard the end of it. Oh, so. my gosh. It happens. Yeah. Billy, I just I just sent it to you via instant, via Facebook Messenger. Billy Crafty Floridian. Laura, you want to come on our chat? Let me know. You got to send me a message. So I can send an email or Facebook or whatever. Chicago, regretful yarn addict. Hi, she said Chicago, I'd go. Oh, there I would go. totally go because yeah. it's not that far from me. Well, that's, well, gee, uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, I thought about that after I saw Billy's, you know, Florida fiasco. I was like, oh man, that would be so cool to plan something in Chicago, but Chicago sucks in the summer. I'm sorry. It no, it will. It was in October. <laughs> It was in October, yeah, so that, it's gonna, that, it's you, gonna suck any time of the year in Chicago. Oh well, <laughs> that's a, a good, good, you know, advertisement for Chicago. There, any well, time of year, it sucks. Listen, you know, come visit you know, Chicago. It's like a Hoover. It just sucks. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy, I don't know about you, but I mean, I grew up in Chicago. We used to have four seasons here in Chicago. We no longer have four seasons. You are either freezing your ass off or you're boiling to death. Like oh that's it. Wow. So yeah. yeah. Sorry for my foul language people, but that's just the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, you've been God. there and there you are. And so there you stay. Yep. And I keep on saying I'm going to leave, but I can't because my whole family's here. So I'm still. Well, Billy, says, Billy says it didn't come through. And, and Russ, I mean, you, you get like sub-zero temperatures in September sometimes, don't you? Ugh. It, it gets chilly, but I wouldn't say sub-zero. Well, I mean, you, you get snow like months before anybody else. Where are you, Russell? <laughs> I'm in Michigan. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you're worse than me. <clears throat> are, are you a youper? Uh, no, um, Southern. Youper is Upper Peninsula. That's why. Yeah. Laura, Peninsula. just send me a Facebook Messenger or send me an email. Billy, send yeah. me an email and I'll send it to you. I, yeah. I thought like you That's were like idea. making like a, an Uber reference. I'm like, he doesn't drive a cab. <laughs> <laughs> no, Youper. It's Upper Peninsula. In uh -huh. okay. You know that little arm that sticks out up there. We we did have snow the other night. Did oh you my really? God! See, I told you. It wasn't. It didn't stick or anything, but we did get snow. We had snow the other morning. It's crazy. I'm in Kansas yeah, City, Missouri. We, we had ice. My car was covered in ice. Uh. Dang. It, it's one of those where uh, you want to put it in a box and ship it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you, you can keep that, Russ. Uh, well, Mad Mimi, I figured Rose might need some. Mad no, Mimi I don't need lives it. at the North Pole. She lives in North Pole, Alaska. Yeah, and she wants to move to Antarctica. I saw that. Like, yep. that's crazy. Yep. No way. Well, I wouldn't mind Alaska. I love the fact that she's in the North Pole, though. That's so cool. I need yeah. to send her my Santa list. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Someone said that they are... Wait, what Denise. Is 13 degrees Celsius in Saskatchewan. Sa Saska Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Say that five times fast. That thing that that you can't yeah. Oh, <laughs> God, oh we have an Alaskan crafter on here. Ooh, that's pretty cool. That's Jan. That's Jan, the Alaskan crafter. Yes. Sylvia says uh, Rose does not need snow. I do not need snow. Last year we got like three feet of snow, and my dog wouldn't poop for like two weeks because oh my gosh. 
there was no grant there was nowhere for him to go yeah oh, no uh, oh, poor, poor little old man i know e right? dreams e dreams i do not have a channel i'm sorry okay, i Billy keep telling it. him Billy got it so she should be hey here laura mad mimi i just emailed you there you go the link and billy i just emailed you the link i hope they come in because honestly i do not know of anybody who has the 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 wealth of yarn information as far as uh, brands, yardage, weight, fiber, cost. Seriously, you are a plethora of information. You know, you know more brands than I do. Um, me, I'm kind of like a one note wonder. Um, like it's like I know like. You know, it's like, I, I know I like acrylic. I know I've got like a few types of, of brands and colorways that I gravitate to, and I just go with that. Um, that is Laura. Hi, Laura! The egg bega is on! Oh my God! Laura, mute your computer, honey. Hello. Okay. Come on, get with the program, lady. Well, Russell, see, we really need you. We need all that information. We need your knowledge. We need you. Come on, give us a program. I buy yarn from all over the world. Yes, Literally. Billy. All over. Billy. Billy, Billy. 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 Hello, hello, hello. I, I, okay. Billy. I just wanted to say hi to you guys. I got to go. Say bye to okay, you. bye, Sandy. Bye, nice it's really nice, nice meeting you. Me. Hi, Russell. And Fiber Spider, how are you? Am I muted? No, well, no but somebody you. needs to turn their volume down. Yeah. We're getting all sorts of feedback going on. Am I muted? No, but somebody needs to turn their volume down. We're getting all sorts of feedback going on. There's a delay. No, but somebody needs to turn their volume down. <laughs> <laughs> Darlene, it's Billy. Someone said it's too confusing and they have to leave the because they can't listen anymore. <laughs> it's not Laura because Laura is muted. Not me. Oh, oh, wait a minute. It is me. Wait a minute. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> It was it was like this really twisted Twilight Zone echo. <laughs> that was terrible. I'm sorry. I was waiting for Rod Serling to pop out of my closet with his with a you know pal mal and be like you know so on today's episode. <laughs> Angie, wow. Angie, we fixed it. We fixed it. Okay, you guys, hang in there. We're fine now. Yeah, it was me. It was. Hi, okay. Billy. How are you? I'm doing all right. How can I get you guys bigger? I'm. Well, this is the Brady Bunch. You know, we all oh, share. You got know, it. I got it. we all share our there separate square. And oh, I look a mess. <laughs> it is an <laughs> honor to meet you guys. Oh my gosh! I'm a spider. Welcome, God, welcome. I've been watching you hundred years, and I have to. I look good for my age. For a long time, Mimi Day. She's you know just a, hangs around. <laughs> one of my do rags on. You see one of her, my do rags. Look at me. I look like a mess. Hi, yes. Russell. It's nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. You um, guys all look beautiful. Rose likes crochet, and Fiber Spider are our celebrities. I just happen to fall in to the gap. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, no, we're not celebrity. Well, Fiber Spider is a celebrity, but. No, 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 you you know I don't play that, you know. Fiber don't play that. Fiber don't play that. Well, you yeah, don't either. I don't either. I don't either. I, don't right. either. So, no, I just yeah. think I'm a celebrity. <laughs> well, I know hey. I'm a celebrity, so well, you know. are, are you kidding, Dilly? I was the life of the party in Sarasota. I don't think so. Oh, I know no. so. No, <laughs> I was gonna be a fight on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hey Laura, what do you have any cool t-shirt on today? I um, love your t-shirts. Oh my gosh, they're so funny. It's the one that's I have to close my it's the don't ruffle my feathers. I will I'll bury you. you under the chicken coop and help people look for you. <laughs> oh wow. 
I love your that t-shirts. Is, <clears throat> that is Rose, true, Ian. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Fi oh, Fiber God. Spider has close to 300,000 subscribers. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. I got I got a ways to go. Yeah. yeah I got, I got to go for to what? Go, well, you know, you could slow down and let us catch up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> But okay, all right. See, there's a very fine line because on the one hand, they're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm still working on your last project. Uh, and then people are like, more, more, more. I actually hey! am working on one. You guys, Daniel from Popeye Guys is on the chat. Hi, Daniel. Hello. Hi, Daniel. Daniel, do you want to come join us? Let me know. I'll send you the link, Daniel. There, Craig. Ooh, the tessellated hearts. Isn't that yeah. pretty? I love it. That's really pretty. That looks like what? What? What color is that? What brand is that? Uh, I think it is a Karen One Pound. I got it from a um, 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 um Yarnspirations um mystery box, and I got like about twelve of them. So that's it's kind of a coral color. Gotcha. No, it looks very pretty. Well, you know, you are wearing my favorite color on your head. That's right. Orange. Mine and Laura's favorite color is orange. Any sort of autumnal color, that's my Jimmy Jam. Whatever you're wearing at the time, right? Hey, you guys, well, someone I... has a question. Can everyone tell us what your favorite four-weight yarn is? Any brand, any material, they're looking for a new yarn. That's from Cheryl. Ooh, Cheryl? Okay. Cheryl. Oh, I... boy. My favorite yarn Who's is cotton. Who just, who just farted on this live stream? That was Billy. That, was Billy. <laughs> that, that would be Billy. Yeah. I'm so glad there's no smell of vision. <laughs> well, I was going to say, Rose, if you smelt it, you dealt it, honey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Laura, you go first. My favorite four weight yarn is actually cotton. I love working with cotton. That's Which brand? Is Really, um, actually, Hobby Lobby would be my favorite, um, but I work more with um, sugar and cream. What you got there, Russ? Uptown Worsted Universal Yarn. Is that what that says? Uni <clears throat> Universal Yarn, Uptown Worsted. Um, they have a neat little saying on their ball band. It's called um, Knit, Relax, Smile, Repeat. It's a really nice acrylic four-weight it's 180 yards, really soft yarn, beautiful drape, beautiful stitch definition, really good yarn. Can you show me the label again? I sure can. Mm. Ooh, See, it's, it's no that surprise from? that he, he had it, it right on hand. <laughs> Who makes where do you it? get that from, Russ? Um, you can, I get it at my local yarn shop. Um, which is yarn on front and Dwajack. Oh. Uh, you can get it. Um, oh, I think Webbs took it down. Hmm. It's it's basically you're going to have to go to a yarn shop that um, sells universal yarns. Okay. Um, because universal is going to more. Um, hands-on yarn shops more so than buying offline. So you pretty much have to get it at a yarn shop anymore. Gotcha. Hey, Gary from Urban Yarn is on. Hi, Gary. Hey, Gary. Hi, Gary. Hi, Gary. But he's oh, you get a nickname with them, huh? He's bugging out on us, though. I've invited him to come on lives before, and he's like, no, I'm too busy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, Gary. I love you, man. That's awesome. All right, Billy, what about you? What's your favorite four weight? Whatever I have at hand. <laughs> That's fair. I I really, you know, for I'm I'm really getting into DK. Oh. I'm really for, for because I make so many garments. I think DK is a great yarn for, for garments. I like, and I also love Unforgettable for garments. Makes beautiful drape. But 4K, you know, I don't know. Um, Billy, have you tried um, Stylecraft Special DK? Hi, Jennifer, Crafty Bones. Let me know. If I you think can I have. Yes. 
that is some really awesome three weight yarn. No, that's the and stuff in the Ophelia. Ophelia talks. Because that that is, yes, I will say, yes, that is some really good yarn. I've got a whole bunch of it right here. Um, eh. I've never used it. Ah! Yeah, the, um, all right, I'm trying to get this bag open. Um, Jennifer right from Crafty Bones is here. This. Hi, Jennifer. Uh, here we go, here we go. Oh, a pastry plus? Yeah, and I really like it. It's a three weight. And I'm I making like the colors of it. Okay. Oh, okay. Look at so, that bag yeah, of yarn. This, holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. What? Yeah. Style, Style craft special. special. Oh, okay. It's uh, double knit. It's really soft. It is an acrylic. Um, it's a, a premium acrylic. And it is... Looking for yardage in all the wrong places. 200 and... <laughs> 95 meters or 322 Hi, yards, anti-pilling, uh, knits to all DK patterns. It's really nice. And they have a really wide selection of colors. Yes, I would recommend it too. Oh, um, thanks. thanks. And one of, my viewers, one of my viewers sent it, sent a whole bunch of it to me. Um, and Ophelia Talks has these bundles that are like color palettes that go together. Very yeah. nicely coordinated, just like with Russ, he's holding up there. Oh, cool. Um, this was this was yeah. one of them, and it's like all fall colors. Oh, uh, there was a, a modern, yeah. like a circle in a square granny scarf that I did. It was very mod. Those are the colors that I have in here that I used for that. Very nicely coordinated, and that's through Ophelia Talks. Uh, uh, it's green. <laughs> yeah, the colors. <laughs> it's green. We need, we need Madonna Ballard on here. Yeah, we, we need Madonna. That. Madonna and I have a, a thing going, mm -hmm. but you know, between orange oh, and blue. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, color. that is pretty. That's purple, oh, but orange is best. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. Wowza. Stopcraft. Yeah, I'll have to try some. I'm going to have to sneak over uh, to Craig's house and steal that orange hat from him. <laughs> <laughs> Put up your dukes. Uh, <laughs> Laura, Laura, and Billy, have you guys ever met Craig from Fiber Spider? I have not, but no, I watch him very often. Yeah, uh, I've I'm, made a I'm lot of. I love that. I love front post. That front post um, Afghan that you did. I've made a lot of uh, squares and stuff using that. I like it. Is it the glorious granny square? Yes, yes. That one's yes, a lot of yes. fun. And, and Rose, I've been, actually, Rose, I've been working on something because I wanted you to eat your heart out. Oh, oh what? So, well, this, this is an you old have to pattern. Make it in purple? Oh, well, I, I had to use purple because I wanted you to have a little freak out over there. Um, but this is uh, the, uh, the seaside shawl. It was a purple iguana pattern on uh, Ravelry. And I did uh -huh. this tutorial ages ago, but I'm like, oh, I got to use the purple. I got to make her freak. Um, Wait, what pattern is that? Seaside, seaside, it's the seaside oh. shawl, and um, so Ooh. the yarn that I'm using is this. It's uh, mandala, and it's the colorway of Hades. So you got some that blues, is, oh. you have some purples. Look it's at what really Russell's pretty. holding up. Look at Russell. Look, look at that cake. Well, that's an anniversary cake because he goes big. Man, I only have one anniversary cake. I don't have any. I don't, and I don't know what I'm going to make with it. Nothing. I. I didn't buy any of the new anniversary cakes this year because I have, I had, I bought two different colors last year. And honestly, I don't really like the yarn a whole lot. Like it's a little splitty for me. That and, and I'm not a big way, a fan of a uh, weight of five. Way to five. It doesn't even really good. feel, it says it's a six and it's definitely not a six. And I don't know. I just, it didn't really do much for me. Like that color that Russ just showed is gorgeous, but well, like, I'm not right. planning on buying any more. Rose, no, because it's not yeah. a six. It's, it's not, definitely it's a not. Five. No, it's, it's a five. no, but they label it as a six. Good for them. It's a five. It's yeah. totally a five. <laughs> Rose, yeah, what's but, your favorite four weight? Yeah. Um, I will. I will use anything. My favorite yarn of all time is the original Karen cakes. I I have ten totes filled with Karen cakes, regular Karen yeah, cakes. Girl. 
Right. Yeah. Wow. So, but I use like I like I, I'll do Red Heart. I, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby is one of my favorites. I Mine also too. like yeah. um, Premier Basics. Um, that's awesome. And what's the other one? Big Twist from Joanne Fabrics. Like just their basic yarns. <clears throat> Well, I'm I'm actually uh, boycotting Hobby Lobby right now. Why? Uh, because they will not ship to Alaska. Ah, oh, sons of. Well, you tell me what you want. You send me your list, and I'll send it to you. <laughs> I'm. I actually. I actually. I do need one thing. No, <laughs> I'm serious. Send me an email when we're done, and I'll get it for you. Will do. I just need one thing. Okay. Well, I'm. I'm not going to just send you one thing. So, could you make a longer list? Because that's a waste of my time. Uh, no, because I'm boycotting Hobby Lobby, but unfortunately, oh. I don't like to mix yarn. Oh, so they have to have the, the same brand. Oh, okay. I yeah. understand Send that only what you buy. want. Thank right, you. Way. Thank you. That somebody yeah. else understands the need to use the same yarn. Yeah, right. you need that, you yeah, need that homogeny, it. you know, like yeah. I'm a freak for dye lots. Oh, I am too. And I am an absolute is. freak. You know, it's like if there if there aren't like a plethora of skeins oh. with the same dye lot, I won't even touch it. You know, like when I go shopping, I'm like, eh, no, nope, mm, nope, ain't gonna happen. Um, <laughs> you know. Hey, um, Laura, an Alaskan crafter said you're a weirdo. Uh, tell Jan to bite me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then she's gonna say where. <laughs> oh well, you, well, you know, she, she she, Seta and Jan live in Wasifolis. Oh, so that kind of tells you a little bit about where you know where she's coming from. You guys, that's not really the name of the town, Laura. You're so bad, Wasifolis. Oh my God, does yes. Seta know you call it that? Uh, Jan and I both call it Wasifolis. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, if there's anyone under 18 it, it in here, this, catchy. Is, this is an adult live, okay? <laughs> we'll see. In, in Anchorage is called Skankerage. Oh. Um, Wasif, Wa Wasilla is called Wasifilis, and I know I'm going to miss some of them. North Pole is just North Pole. And then uh, Fairbanks, which I live right outside of Fairbanks, that's called Square Banks. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Let me see what, I can't. Hey, Jan. Oh, I can't see that. When, when, I, when I, going back to what Craig was saying about dye lots and colorways, when I buy yarn, I typically buy anywhere between two and 4,000 yards of it at the same time of each color that I buy. So that way I know I have enough to do whatever I want without mm -hmm. work. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if I go like quite that much, but um, I mean, I definitely buy more than I think I'm going to need. And then it's always, it's always in the back of my warped little mind that, you know, whatever I don't need, I'll, I'll, I could always return it. I never do. But, you know, like, it's always like, you know, make sure that you have more than enough, you know, because I always, always, always get the question of, well, how much yardage do I need? And I'm like, well, if you're doing a blanket, you know, I mean, it's really hit or miss. Like you don't right. know because based on your gauge, your tension, your hook size, mm -hmm. is it really lacy? Is it really solid? Is it textured? I mean, anything textured is a total yarn hug. Okay. Yes. You hey. know, like the glorious granny, it will eat up your yarn like that. Um, you're going to say Rose? You guys, Gary just said, isn't there a Canadian place named after an adult toy? Oops, let's scrap that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that is. <laughs> well, you know, there is a place in Canada called Head Smashed In Buffalo Jump. He head Smashed In what? <laughs> head Smashed In Buffalo Jump. Whenever oh whenever we, this is, uh, well, my I've driven the Alcan four, three times. And every time we've gone by, we've gone by the place. I can't remember if it's in the Yukon or in Alberta, somewhere around there. But it is a place called Head Smashed in Buffalo Jump. 
Gary, is that the place you're talking about? Let us know. Oh my God. Crochet every day with Judy first. Hi, Judy. She says, haven't you heard of Intercourse, Pennsylvania? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have. Yes. <laughs> yep, I've heard of it. Oh, Cheryl says, Gary, are you talking about Regina? Regina? <laughs> Is it Regina? Is that how it's pronounced? Is that what he's talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I think I think it is Regina. And is the That's is the me. next town over Alada? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tammy says it's called Dildo Canada. Oh, that's that Dildo. That's Dildo? funny. That's hilarious. That is that's hilarious. Okay, we got Jennifer from Crafty Bones who's going to join us if we can get her her video to show up. Come on, Jen. Starting to look more like the Brady Bunch with every <laughs> step. Yeah. Poke, what is poke. that, Rose? You're poking me. You're poking me. <laughs> Laura, you got to go the other way. Wait, wait. Craig, you can do one of these because you're in the middle at least. <laughs> there we go. I'm poking Billy. I'm poking oh Spider Spider. Well, now <laughs> Oh, she's. I guess she couldn't come on. She'll probably try again. Oh my gosh. You guys Where are Where do so you live, Fiber Spider? Pardon? Where do you live? New York. New York. Mm -hmm. Proper? Or uh, Long Island, actually. Yeah, we're oh, Long that's Island. where my mom <laughs> grew up. Kind of, sort of. You know, it, it's, it's sort Hi, of Jennifer. like. Hello, Jennifer. It's sort of like Alcatraz. Um, <laughs> you know, you, you, you grow up here and you can never leave. Ah, uh, well, you know, um, you can always move to Alaska. I would be <laughs> delighted. Come on out. Um, hey, hey, Rose. Yes, sir. I just remembered this Universal's um, Uptown Worsted. Yeah. The company Universal is owned by Premier. Premier, it's that's their, right. I knew that looks familiar. It's their sister's company. Premier sells it under a different name. It's called oh. Premier Anti-Pilling. I had to turn it off the of Wi-Fi. It's, it's the same yarn, the same yardage, the same softness. So you can get it from Premier just under a different name. Okay, cool. Thank you. See, I, I knew he would know. <laughs> yeah, and, a a wealth and of right now it's four forty nine a skein on their site. Ooh, okay. Guess of who's going shopping after that. this? Yes. Hey, say hi to everyone. Uh, to Jennifer. Jennifer. Hello. So you guys need to all took me a minute. I had to get off the Wi Fi. That's okay. You're still a little echoey. I think it's the room. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I'm not jealous at all about that purple room oh, at all. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. That's all I got to say. There's um, a place. Oh, I know. Uh, there's a place. Oh, shit. No wow, way. Wow, man. Look at that. God dang it. Look at all that. You guys go check out her video. You are way too organized. I no, love it. No, no, no. It's not about the organization. It's about the color for crying. It's, it's, it's about the purple. purple. It's about the purple. You guys Suppose go look you want at her yarn purple. from the bottom row. How do you get it out of there? <laughs> Move them all one at a time. Oh, man. <laughs> but I mean, they're kind of they're kind of organized by type. See, there's all the cakes are in one place and. You know, kind of, kind of. So when am I getting an invite to your house? That's all I'm wondering. <laughs> You're gonna clean me out. <laughs> hey, I got, I got a big enough car. I can put a couple totes in there. I'm just saying. A no, you, yeah. Rose really just wants to steal your walls and put them yes. in her house. I do, I do. The, so the color is called um, King's Court, and it's uh, a bear color from Home Depot. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you get your she shed, right? <laughs> yeah, there ain't no she shed going on here. My so she shed will be done very soon. Well, no, nah, maybe not. Next year. She's not going to cut paint it purple, though. She's going to paint it orange. Orange, no. yeah, orange. No, but it's going to be, it's going to, it's going to be a 20 by 30 Ooh. she shed. <gasps> nice. What do you have to share it with, though? I mean, what else is going in there besides your crafting? 
Uh, nothing. Ooh. No. No. I'll you. have a I'll have an area for sewing, knitting, crochet, and for painting. I'll have my resident cat Persephone will be in there with me too. Nice. Yeah. Very but, nice. So for oh, anyone wants. watching the live, go check out Jennifer. Her channel is called Crafty Bones, and she takes you on a tour of how she did her, her fabulous purple room. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. And I had to wait for a kid to get his stuff out. but Oh, Kim from Affordably Crafty is on. Hi, Kim. How you doing? Hi, Hi Kim. Kim. Oh, my gosh. You guys ever watch Kim? She finds the most amazing deals every time, yeah. every single time. Well, I, you know, I try to find all those little wholesale places and stuff that she finds where she's at, and I just can't find anything like yeah, that. Yeah, we don't have anything like that here either. We don't we have don't any either. Tuesday mornings. We don't have, like, anything like that. Nothing. We have like Ollie's? No, we don't have. Yes, you have that? No, yeah, I have an Ollie's. We See, don't even we, have a dollar store. <laughs> we have expensive. We have expensive, and we have overpriced. <laughs> That's yeah. your options, huh? Yeah. Laura comes to Florida and all she talked about is a trip to Dollar Tree. She wanted to go to Dollar Tree. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I brought me, I bought myself some cool glasses though. From the Dollar Tree? From the Dollar Tree. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. She's oh yeah. You're rocking those, man. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's all I bought. I didn't That's see it. Anything. That's it. Oh no, I think I I did buy a soda and maybe something else, but <laughs> I, I spent like three three bucks. I was oh. pretty disappointed about the Dollar Tree oh, with all wow. of the different things that I've seen. Yeah. yeah. I could never get any of the book. Everybody was talking about books that they found and I never got any of those. Yeah, we yeah. don't ever have books in our Dollar Trees either. It's always just like the coloring books and um, that's about Word it. There's search. nothing else. Bibles. There's a lot of dollar Bibles. Bibles. Yeah. 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 Bibles. yeah. Yes. I think I was on the wrong side of Sarasota that maybe there's a the poor side <laughs> and the rich let, side. If you had is, is there a good a nice one, you would have seen something different. But yeah, yeah. Say, is there a good side of Sarasota? I know there's bad and good places in Tampa. There's not a bad side in Orlando, but that's all PR, so. Well, I don't know. We we were, I think we were on the old people side of Sarasota because it was quiet hours starting at 10 every day. <laughs> and <laughs> and did, did everything smell of tapioca, tapioca metamucil or? White diamond. I'm going to smack you. I'm going to smack <laughs> all of you. <laughs> hey, I, I lived in Orlando and in Tampa. So, you know, I have uh, my own stories of Florida. You live in Tampa? No, I did. I lived in Tampa and in Orlando. Uh-huh. Okay. So I have my own stories of, you know, like people stopping on the middle of the uh, B-line, which is a toll road, and backing up because they missed their exit. I'm like, it's it's a quarter. Go to the next exit. You'll be fine. Really? Yeah. Oh We're going God. 70 and you're backing up. I, I don't imagine that happens much now with GPS, but yeah, in the 90s, it was awful. Wow, if you go less than 80 on our tollways, like people start running you over. So oh, yeah, there's definitely. definitely is no backing up here. Yeah, last time I went through Chicago, it was 4.30 in the morning. I was picking my son up at the uh, Great Lakes training facility for the Navy. Yeah, how fun was that driving in Chicago streets? <laughs> no. no, thank you. Yeah. No, even, even at four in the morning, it was awful. Yeah, it's See, that. That's why I, I stick to my particular county. Like, I don't even go anywhere near New York City because I know that as soon as I leave the island, I would have a coronary. Um, <laughs> you know, like the idea. No, no, no. They would have to peel me off the side of the road. <laughs> like, no, it, it'd be bad. It would be bad. Like, I, if, if I ever go into the city, train, that's it. That, there's no other. No, train. <laughs> it's the only way. Yeah, I drive into the city not very often, but I, I can drive into, I mean, I grew up in Chicago, so it's no big deal, but you just have to like, pretend like you're going to run the people over and they'll eventually move on. <laughs> Homer wants to say hi to you guys. Who? Where is he? Homer. Oh my God. Oh, Homer. Get the puppy, put him on your lap. Let me see him. Oh God, seriously. No. Uh, uh, yes. Not with your neck. Uh, no. No, I'm not allowed to. No. Okay, move the camera. I want to see him. Uh he's already away. 
Oh man, where's I'm not Persephone? allowed to do anything anymore. Where's Persephone? Persephone is upstairs in the old yarn room. So wait, what's the deal with the old? What's what's going on with the yarn room situation? Um, I'm moving out into um, the new yarn barn pretty soon. Twenty. I like yarn barn. Twenty feet by thirty feet. And Persephone will be my resident cat, just like she was upstairs. I'm down in the school room right now. Russ, is there any yep. chance that Sylvester could make an appearance? Yes. Well, let me go get him. You guys are going to love this. Is it a bird? <laughs> better. Ferret? <gasps> better. Macaw? Better, better than a ferret. Macaw? What? Oh, better than a ferret. Well, Better than it's gonna be a calico cat. Is it a spider? Is it a rat? Is it like a tarantula? Just, no, you guys, you guys are gonna go. Oh! Is it a hedgehog? <laughs> Is it a baby saying. goat? I love baby goats. You'll see. Why would he have a baby goat in his house, Laura? Okay, hey, the same stranger reason things why have happened. I had a baby goat in my house. Yeah, maybe he wants like <laughs> live in mohair. You know. I had. Well, Can yeah. it? Uh, Craig, does it fit in his hand? Chinchilla? Someone said a turtle. Is it a turtle? Is it a lizard? Someone's saying it's a sugar glider? A lizard? Yes, it, it, I, I die every time I see him. Is it a gecko? No. Because geckos are the most adorable. <laughs> oh, I got hundreds ever. of those. They're all over the place. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, Russ. I can start. I remember taking those wall. lizards up my wall, Billy, and dropping their tails, and there's blood streaks running down my wall. Trying to get the lizards out of the house. says it's a llama. <laughs> we Someone... used to, when I, I grew up, we wore the green and as uh, earrings. A grilled neck lizard. Someone said it's a fainting goat. <laughs> those are adorable. Like you them adorable? In their... <laughs> well, because I mean, so if we're be, is it a chicken? Oh, a snake. Someone said a snake. Is it a chicken? If it's can... a snake, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving, baby. <laughs> no, don't go, Billy. Where are you going, Billy? She's like, I'm out. This is my llama. Yo, you're going to get your llama. Oh, she's going to get the pooping, something pooping. It doesn't poop. <laughs> I'm sorry, but your poop and chicken is the best because it was your first. Oh, <laughs> look at the butt shake. Oh! It's twerking. <laughs> it's a twerking llama. Yeah. It's alive. <laughs> Does it do the dab? <laughs> oh my God. Isn't he adorable? Oh my gosh. What is taking us so long? What is he doing? He's catching, catching it. it, I guess. He's catching it. <laughs> Outside. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I gotta I gotta get closer. What is this? What is it? It looks like a hedgehog. Oh, hedgehog. oh my god. It is. Oh, you must see his face. Other way, other way. Lord, oh, 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 so cute. Oh, I want a hedgehog. Stop it. Oh my gosh, no. Russ. How long have you had that adorable thing? <laughs> Since uh, 2016. Oh my gosh, how long do they live? Um, About seven years in captivity. Oh my gosh, oh, what's his so name? Cute. Sylvester. Sylvester the Hedgehog. Stop it. Oh my God. I told you you guys were going to die. So cute. Oh, look at so that. Always oh, a little sleepy face. Patrick, oh. can I have a hedgehog? <laughs> is, is, he, is, is he spidery? I mean, is his back yep. oh. yep. very spiny? Yeah. Does so he does let he... you tickle his belly? Oh, he's hiding. Uh, if I. If I didn't have this on, it'd be a lot better. Oh my God, he is so adorable. Look at that. Oh, look at that little face. What do you feed him? Um, expensive cat food. It's thirty dollars a day. <laughs> thirty dollars for how much? Um, probably one of the middle bag. It's like ten ten pounds, maybe. 
And how long does that last you? Because he's a tiny a little thing. A year. A year. Oh, well, that's not and so you're bad. saying that's expensive to feed him? Try, no. Try having a 70-pound dog, okay? Just do um, that. My parent, my parent Helga, just died. Oh. A, a couple of months ago. She was expensive. Well, try it, feeding four goats, nine chickens, or ten, oh, ten chickens, three turkeys, two dogs, four cats. That's all. Uh, we got 16 outside cats that we feed and water. We've got 16 chickens. <laughs> I love um, chickens. And in the summertime, we have um, three pigs and two goats. And why Why just the summertime? Do they go to freezer camp in the wintertime? They do. Yeah. We have, I have a cow at my friend's house and a pig. And we actually, we just picked up, picked them up to go into our freezer. Look. But the goats don't. I use those for milk. He's just so cute. He's he adorable. is adorable. He is adorable. Look at that little face. Like, does is he friendly and like playful and? Um, usually at night he'll get out um, on his wheel. Um, but he's he's fairly friendly. When you first wake him up, because he sleeps a lot. Um, oh man! <laughs> well, now you can really see his face. Look at oh, his little chunk. Oh, oh, now he's oh, growing. He can turn into a ball. Oh my um, gosh! It's Patrick, I want a head hug. <laughs> oh my goodness, I Jennifer! Do you have any any animals? Three dogs and a cat. <laughs> and my three sons. They're still in the house. They're animals. Yeah, they're totally animals. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as they're house trained. <laughs> right. Well, that's debatable. Yeah, I'm afraid to see what your bathroom looks like. Three boys. They have it's their own and it doesn't help. Oh, yeah. yeah. Craig, do you have any animals? Uh, I have a warren of dust bunnies. <laughs> um, okay. Yes, they're they're very prolific. You know, it doesn't matter if it's the springtime or whatever. No, they they're always active. Yeah, um, I am in the only dust free room right now, and that's just because it's brand new. <laughs> you gotta that you gotta love that face though. Look at yeah, the right right Look at the, the little feet, little things. wiggly nose. Yeah. You gotta love that face, and the eyes are just like, yep, love me. Um, oh my but no, I, I don't have any pets. If I could have any pets, um, uh, I would love to have Angora rabbits, um, oh. so that I could do some spinning, um, you know, with, uh, with the fur, uh, either rabbits or sheep or llamas, alpacas, that sort of thing. I mean, I would love that. Um, you know, um, Sorry. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Billy, it looks like it scared you. We got that footage. <laughs> <laughs> you know, would would love to have you know something like that. Um, you know, when I was younger, I did oh. have rabbit. Oh, it's a kitty, kitty. Oh my! Which gosh. one's that? This one is. I call this one fluff. Fluff, just fluff. Beautiful. That's so, a beautiful cat. Beautiful he's a monster. He's an outdoor cat, but he comes in for his treats. Oh well, I would do the same thing. So <laughs> yeah. Well, you you spoil them all rotten. Not me. I make them all work hard for their keep. Hey Craig, we could send you a bunch of cat hair to. Um... <laughs> I can, I can send you goat hair too. I mean, well, with, if, if it were cat hair, if it, if it were cat hair, I would become one large hive. What about some Pomeranian hair? You want some Pomeranian hair? I have a little bit of that laying around. Oh my god! I'm I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I've I um I have worked with with wool. I've worked with um. 
it was pretty much just wool um, as far as the fibers that I worked with. I mean, I don't know like how I, how sensitive I would be to other animals. Cause I know that do, people do comb out their cats and their dogs and then they spin and then they, you know, spin the pet hair into yarn and then they turn the yarn into an amigurumi of their pet. Oh my which, goodness. On the one hand, is really cool. On the other hand, it's like an effigy. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, it's creepy. Um, I have a, um, one of my friends that lives in Two Rivers. She does the same thing. She raises um, angora goats, and um, she has the the rabbits, which I'm deathly allergic to. And she spins all of those things, and then she'll also spin. Um, I say our St. Bernard died, you know, not well, a little while ago. And she's making me something out of, of our St. Bernard's fluffies. Wow. That's something. Yeah. Yeah. As long as the staple length of the hair is long enough. Yeah. You can spin, you know, most pet hair, um, but it has to be long enough. Like if it's like a short hair cat. Yeah. No, it ain't going to work. Yeah. yeah. You know, so but if it's a long hair, work. You have to be, be careful of, you have to get the guard hairs out. Mm. What's a guard yeah. hair? It's the 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 thicker or the stuff that you're actually petting. You really want the undergrowth. Oh, gotcha. With, gotcha. A, with an animal, except you know, like rabbits and stuff. But like with cats and dogs and goats, you have to get the guard hairs out. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. you know, and I, a I lot of people. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. A lot of people what? A lot of people they think that. Uh, like people that raise rabbits, you know, for, you know, uh, Angora uh, production, like, you know, they kill the rabbits. No, they do not. Those rabbits are prized. And it, it's like, no, you're just brushing the fur out because they're they're constantly shedding. So you're brushing the fur out and that's what you're spinning. Mm -hmm. um, like they don't shave them. That that would put the rabbit into shock. Oh, and God, the, yes. rabbit, the rabbit would not be able to handle that. So no, you're just brushing it out. I mean, sometimes I've even seen, there's like this big fluff ball of a rabbit sitting on somebody's lap and somebody's spinning directly from the rabbit oh, and the rabbit's wow. totally sedate, just like, yeah, get it over with. <laughs> um, wow. just, just do it, let's, let's get this over with. Um, you know, but like the rabbits are never harmed. You know, I mean, that no, that would be totally counterproductive. God, yeah. no. Mm -mm. Janelle, Janelle just sent sent a message saying, "Try feeding a five hundred pound donkey." <laughs> yeah, she lives oh. in Tampa. She lives that's, in Tampa. Janelle, that's a big does. ass, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. I couldn't I'm resist. running a close second. There you go, girl. Listen, I just gave the disclosure. This is an adult chat, so if anyone wants to, <laughs> that's not my problem. <laughs> You go, girl. Oh my oh. gosh! So, so what? Or what do you do? I mean, what do you? What is your craft? I don't me. Think I, I don't, yeah, I crochet. So right now, I'm making um resin keychains. Uh, there's a tradition if you there's a tradition when you own a jeep that you give somebody rubber ducks, and I'm having a problem finding rubber ducks with bones on them. So I'm just making a rubber duck that has a jeep oh, grill on it and adding a skull. That's so cool. they're purple naturally, and they they fluoresce in the dark. But I'm doing that to get ready for next year's Jeep Fest. And um, I'm I'm up 36 in a couple of days, so we'll see. So I have Billy, Billy Je Jennifer donated project bags for my wings giveaways every month. So every month, um, she has a project bag that we give away as thank you gifts. Oh yes, oh, I cool. saw those. Okay, yeah. I saw them on your your last video. Yeah. Yeah, I actually got a message from um Pamela from a Pamela's Adoring Crochet. She sent me an email because she had gotten one a couple of months ago. Oh, so she sent me an email to tell me that she was using it every day. So I was very thankful Yay. for that. Isn't that nice? That's nice. And then you gave away my yeah. my little coin purses that I, I did. So so like that was I use, this one I use every day. So oh, I was good. like, I don't I don't like where else am I gonna put I mean I love your coin purse, especially the the, the purple ones, especially of the course. purple ones. It pained me to give those away, but I figured someone else would enjoy it. Oh, and that's no, I, that's like, great. That's the great. One before that you announced the name for that, I was like, oh, that would match my room. That needs to hang on my wall. And then you called somebody else's name. 
<laughs> but whatever. There, there were so many donations in October. I felt bad. I could only do 20 gifts, but that's all I had. So, yeah. Well, I'll do yeah. And then you open more. I'll donate a damn it doll to you for next month. Then. Oh, you will? Yes. Thank you, Billy. That's awesome. I'll send it to you. Thank a damn you. it doll. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. You guys don't know what a damn doll is? Craig, you don't know what a damn it doll is? Educate me. Okay. Billy, there you go. That is cool. And I put uh, use yarn and I put give them um, hair and do a design, I, you know, for them. Some of them I put pins on. Well, I was going to say, does it come with pins that you can like stick if in it? Want, if you want pins, I'd be happy to give you little pins. Hey, stick. wait a minute. Uh uh. Uh uh. No, 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 no. You said that the six voodoo dolls that you made were oh, the that's... only ones there, but that's all right. It's Fiber Spider. I love Craig. So, yes, you can make him a voodoo doll. Okay. <laughs> I made her voodoo dolls. I even went outside and bought and got um, in the yard. I picked up sticks and all kinds of moss and stuff. And I made these little voodoo dolls. And they, they look, oh, they were nasty looking. The graveyard bird. I said, I'll never make any more voodoo dolls. Six well, you're going to make a great one. So like a, a damn it doll is sort of like a worry doll, but it's like, no, this is made to be like abused. Like, yeah. 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 I just popped it. <laughs> but you could bang it, you know, if you get frustrated or whatever. Billy, what's the saying that's on it? Um, I, have don't, saying? I don't have it right here. I have it. Hang on. <laughs> Move to Lula. If you make me fall, Billy's going to beat you. That now I did crochet though. Excuse me. Those are the first ones I made like three years ago. That is cute. What does it say? So the, it says, "Damn it, doll! Whenever things don't go so well and you want to hit the wall and yell, here's a little damn it doll. Just grab it firmly by the legs and find a place to slam it. As you whack the stuffing out, yell, damn it, damn it, damn it." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at Laura's got hers too. Oh, this one. Oh, this, on is, that. I, this is one of the ones that I took to Florida with me because this is Victoria and she wasn't able to go to Florida to meet up with us. So um, she actually had an adventure in the swimming pool oh, and yeah, met I with saw the it. shark. She almost drowned. Yes. Yes. I saw that. The shark almost got her. <laughs> you flat, you you can't stand with your damn it doll. It's good. This one. Is the this thing is, is that, you know, like I would need to have like a Rolodex of pictures handy. You know, like, you know, it's just like, okay, swap it out, put another one in. Okay, wait, what? Take your turn. Okay, swap it out, put another one in. It's just, oh, okay, okay, next, next, keep it coming. Bam. Next. Well, no, these Bam. were, these did not get dammited whenever we were in Florida, these were very coveted and loved and they went on um, trips with us and everything. They, and yes, I did put a couple of them in a pool with a shark. <laughs> oh my God. They were saved. <clears throat> yeah, Mary actually, um, saved them. I had done uh, like way back in the day, way before I started YouTube, I used to do craft fairs. And um, when I was first experimenting with using a sewing machine, I had made a couple of voodoo dolls um, and they, they were not for small children because the eyes were sewn on buttons. Basically it was like, take a cookie cutter outline of like a gingerbread man and then trace that onto some fabric and then do another one and then just stitch around the, you know, the, the whole edge. And then, so the eyes were buttons, uh, the edge that was all blanket stitch. So it was, um, you know, very rustic, you know, looking. And then the mouth was a safety pin. Um, and then um, uh, on the chest, there was like a little felt heart that I did the blanket stitch, you know, Aww. like a whip stitch around. And I got a lot of looks. 
but they were a popular <laughs> sale on the other hand. Oh yeah. yeah, mine went like crazy. I made them for craft fairs too, the ones yeah. that I crocheted. And then but I started I have the making the and ages. Ones. Yeah, I designed the I designed this the template and then made these. And they look more like women, but you can That's all good. Yeah. Just, just give them a little, you know, ding dong right there and you can make it a guy. <laughs> I like how she's still trying to keep that PG. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you know, I said, I said the A double S word on my channel once and a couple people were like, Oh, I can't believe you. I'm, I'm unsubscribing to you. Like it's really? just so, it's so horrible that you said that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Go to Chevy's channel. <laughs> oh yeah. She's a, she's a potty mouth for sure. Oh yes, she is. Uh -huh. But you know what? In real, you know, I met her last year. And in real life, she does. She's not that potty mouth as she is. <laughs> but she's really not that bad. I mean, no, I'm, she's not. Oh, she's adorable. She I have is. like a girl crush on her. Oh, I'm everybody so, does. Oh and I, God. you know, I just adored her. And and Wendy Wester called her and said, "Would you come and and meet Billy and surprise her?" And man, I was shocked when she walked through the door. <laughs> How exciting! It was. It was wonderful. You know, it's so oh, cool to meet. It's so cool to meet people that crochet because there's like no one, I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but there's no one around me that crochets. So it's when you do get to meet them, you're like, oh my God, it's like your soulmate. <laughs> I mean, well, that's I the way have we met... felt. That's the way we felt, Rose, when we yeah. met all 14 of these right. women. It's like they've been in your life, your whole, your whole right. life you've known these women, you know? Yeah. And it was just it was amazing. Just yeah, amazing. I mean, I got to meet um, Kit from All Things um, Crochet and Knit with Kit because she lives about an hour from me. And I got to meet Lori from Lori Lulu because she lives about an hour from me. So I've met those girls a couple times and they're just incredible. Like, it's so sad that they're not closer because I would go over to their house every day and crochet with them. You know what I and mean? Lynette, but, you met Lynette. Yeah, but she's really far. I mean, she <laughs> she drove like four hours just to like meet I know. me. Yeah. And we met her. She came. Yeah, she's, she's amazing. She's she is amazing. Lovely lady. Lovely yeah. lady. Yeah. And I got to well, meet because, um, like, with with people in our our walk of life, you know, like there are terms that we use that are it's like a different language to most yeah. people. Yeah. Um, and I do work with a couple of uh crocheters. Um you know, at, at varying levels. And so the thing is like, when I'm trying to explain something, it's like, yeah, they, they can grasp they what I'm it. talking about. Most yeah. people can't, but the, the few that can, I'm like, thank God. You <laughs> right. Know? right. Mm -hmm. And I got to meet, um, do you guys ever watch Fiber Hearts? It's yeah. Karen and yeah. Brian. Karen and Brian. Yeah. I haven't I seen them around for a while. They just posted, they did like a, I don't know, they were making cookies or something and yeah. they, they went to like a fair and they posted that. Um, they usually were doing lives before and I don't, I just can't watch a whole lot of lives. So I don't usually watch that. Hey guys, but, my like, son just called, someone just ran into his car. So I'm going to come off oh, and um, no. thanks for having me up. Okay. Yeah, he's bye. good. Bye. 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 Okay, bye. Bye, Jennifer. So I got to meet Karen and Brian at um, Crystal's retreat a couple of years ago. So that was really, really cool. I got to meet Linda from Linda's Yarn Barn. And I got to meet a whole bunch of really cool people, but no one lives close. So, oh, and I got to meet Crystal. <laughs> 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 Holy crap. That was amazing, Careful. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to go to that retreat, but I couldn't. Um, I can't remember what was going on, but something Rose, happened. Rose, you want to meet Rose? Rosie, you want to meet oh, Rosie? There's Rosie. That's Hi, Rosie. Rosie. After. I named you after Aww. Rosie. Yeah. Rosie. Kim, I wish you were closer, too. It would be so fun to meet you. Well, next Someone... time I'm stuck at the Chicago airport, I'll give you a call. Yeah, that's like a hop, skip, and a jump for me. Yeah. Someone asked uh, just a um, couple of minutes ago about a quick craft item for Christmas. Uh, what I found is really neat is go to uh, Michael's or online and get a clear um, Christmas bulb with the top that you can add after you fill it. Take all your bits of yarn pieces that you clip off when you're 
ending a project, throw them in there and you've got a yeah. nice yarn ball to hang on your Christmas tree. Yeah, awesome. and it's lightweight too. And the other thing you do is get a plastic ball, cut your cut your fabric if you have any left, and get some hodgepodge. Mm. And you can hodgepodge the fabric. Yep. Mm -hmm. around the ball and, and they make beautiful um ornaments especially actually i did see stuff. i did see one it's absolutely adorable it's um again one of those clear plastic christmas balls uh and then inside you put a teeny teeny tiny triangle of orange felt two peppercorns mm -hmm. uh two small twigs and then some uh kosher salt it's it's a, a, a deceased snowman. Yeah. I've, oh. made, I've made some of those. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh Hi, Madonna. God. Oh, hey, Madonna. Oh, my Hello. Gosh. Oh, my gosh. You guys are so funny. Seriously. Yeah. Hey, Madonna, you want to come join us? You got to send me an email so I can send you the link. Pudding is here. My gosh. Here that would be is. so funny if we could get Madonna on here. Oh, Madonna, she's... send me an email. My old lady. An email. That's my old lady. <laughs> Not that Madonna, Craig. <laughs> she's voking now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. You Hi, know, I saw one today by, you know, Debbie Shore. No. Who's that? She's, she's a sewer. And she oh. showed how to make a Christmas tree that wobbles. That oh. wobbles. And you use foam and fabric, and then you put different layers on top of each other, and then you glue it to a little, you know, little stand, a little cup or something. And the Christmas tree rivals is really cute. Oh man, that sounds adorable. Oh, it is, and then all you don't have to. There's not much to it. I mean, there's not another one. It's it. painfully easy. It is um, a a single round granny square. You know, just just the four you know, the four clusters of three, just a single round granny square, and then join it at one corner to another one and so on and so forth. And you got a little granny square garland. Have you, have you ever seen no. these? Granted, these you have a lot of ends to sew in, but if you just got like tiny little bits of yarn, you know, enough to make one round of a granny square, you could do a little granny garland. I did a tutorial on that eons ago. That is cute. That looks like a yo-yo. They are yo-yos. Mm -hmm. And I made a yo-yo Christmas tree with these. That I was just neat. experimenting with them. You know, so where, the where's your yo-yo Christmas tree? Because that is too cute. Oh, that is I'll, cute. I'll go get it. But it's a it's a it's just something that you could just sit here and do. Yo-yo, you know, they are addictive. Yo-yos. I'll go get the yo-yo Christmas you know, tree. Just you know, gathering up fabric, doing like a um uh was that a running stitch and you just you know, cinch. Yeah, you know. just and cinch it and then mm -hmm. just put it on top of each other. I, I do have some yarn, uh, sorry, some sewing knowledge, not a lot, but some. Yeah, you don't um, need a sewing machine, just your fingers. <laughs> You know, I mean, I was I was trying to get like dabbling into quilting and then like other projects took over, um, you know, as they do. Um, but I do want to, eventually I would like to do some sewing slash quilting type tutorials and just this weekend, just yesterday, I actually was cooking, which like cooking, cooking, uh, which does not happen for me. What? And I, 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 I don't cook. What? No, no I know. But what did you cook? I made tortillas from scratch. What? Yes. Ooh. I made the dough and I even got a tortilla press because I hate rolling out dough like nobody's business. Um, and so I figured, you know, it like cut down on the mess. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi, my lady. You got to turn something off. Your volume. I don't have anything up except StreamYard. Do you have YouTube open also? No. Are your messages open? No. Facebook, Facebook open. open. Something's open. open. I have a pattern in my email. That's, That's it. it. Turn, Turn the email, email off. off. Kiss my what for how much? Oh, what does my email have to do with it? That's cute, That's Billy. Cute, Billy. 
Put it closer, Billy. Make a little star. And then the yellow. It's cute. That's so, awesome. That's so cool, Billy. Very simple. Just trying something new. There we go. I'm figuring this out. No worries. Madonna, Madonna can you talk so we can see if that if it worked? What? Hello. 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 Okay, it worked. Hello. Yeah, there's no we're, we're not echoing anymore. That's cool. Hi Madonna, how are you? Hi Rose, I'm fine. How are you? Do you know everybody in the room here? Yep. You know Russell? Well, I've seen him before in on live. On. Nice, awesome. Oh my yeah. gosh, how exciting. The queen is here. You I'm going to say you. hi to all of my Zoomy friends because they're all in here too. Oh, hi, Zoomy Zoom buddies. Deadbeats. Are they? Hi, Zoomy friends. This way. Hi, I Zoomy friends. Zoomy deadbeats. I saw them all. Gina. Yeah, they're all deadbeats. Yeah, we're here. The, the, the good people are right here. Yeah. Actually, they came in, so they're not deadbeats. It's when they sit in Zoom and let one person go in and everybody else listen. <laughs> Yay. All right. So, so yeah, Rose, it was it was a lot of fun because you know I made them from scratch and then I made some quesadillas with my homemade tortillas. And then yeah. today I took the leftovers and I cut them into wedges and I made chips. Oh yum. Oh, yeah. I mean, granted, Good. they were baked, not fried. Um, but no, it was it was it was gratifying making something from scratch. So I was thinking about maybe possibly ish don't know about doing a cooking with fiber spider segment at some point yes. oh, oh, what else are you going to get into <laughs> I, was thinking, I was thinking maybe sushi oh yum. Uh, oh. Yeah. but but know. but but safe safe sushi where you don't have to worry about like you know accidentally poisoning yourself you know um like more more vegetarian uh, or, you know, like already cooked things like cooked shrimp or imitation crab. Like you don't have to worry about it. Is it sushi safe? Um, is that real you know, sushi it's, if it's not raw? Well, I mean, I mean let's just, yeah, let's just yeah. go out for real sushi. I mean, seriously. Yeah. Okay, but no, I mean, what do you call avocado rolls? That's sushi. Yeah, but Oysters Rockefeller, let's go over there. I had some of that Oysters Rockefeller on Friday night whenever we were in Sarasota. Good stuff. All the Oysters, Oysters Eleanor is even better. What is Oysters Rockefeller? I've never it's had that. A, you Oyster. could eat them with a straw. What, Oysters? Yeah. Well, Rocky yeah, you, you could, it's, but... You, technically, you could. I mean, it's like... Uh, it's no, like no, 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 no. It's like I somebody sneezed into a shell. <laughs> oh, oh, you're so good. <laughs> so, need, so good. We need to get you out more, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> My mom's been trying for years. It hasn't worked. All right. So what else did you cook with your with your chips or with your tortillas? And that that was it. I just made some some quesadillas and I made some chips and it was it was a lot of fun. Okay. Um, and um, another thing I was thinking about using the tortilla press uh, is to make Asian dumplings. You know, oh, hot Ooh, that sounds because good. it's the mm. same thing. You know, you get dough, you flatten it, you fill it, you pinch it, you boil it, or fry it, or steam it, or whatever. So that's another thing I was thinking about maybe doing. <laughs> you don't cook, but now you're now you're. Chef. He's like, uh, uh, nope. Mm -mm. What's wrong with pass. you, Russ? Pass. He's gonna Why pass. pass? Hard oh, pass. No, no, no. No. No what? No to what? Uh, no shoes to no shoe. Uh, yeah, no, I can't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> sushi by the seashore. No sushi. By the oh. seashore. No sushi for me either. Well, uh, no. Like, tell, no okay, have you ever like had it. you know like shrimp scampi? Oh yeah. yeah. Um, Okay, it's it's already Ooh, cooked okay. shrimp, you know, and then you cut that up and you put that into, you know, the, the sushi roll that you're going to make. Yeah, I mean, that's how they make California rolls, right? I don't, I don't eat them either. <laughs> I'm not I a sushi I person that, either. Russell. The only Russ, thing is I would need to... are you a steak and potatoes kind of guy? Like, is, is it like comfort food? 
Yes, steak, yes. potatoes, French fries, um, fried shrimp, grilled Yum. shrimp. Yum. Well, I was I was gonna say like you know uh, a little Debbie's and Wendy's kind of guy. <laughs> That's me. I <laughs> talk about <laughs> little Debbie. <laughs> You know, it's like it's a, it's like yo, Debbie, Wendy, Debbie, Wendy, Debbie, Wendy. I like both of those. I eat, I eat a lot of steak. Well, not steak, but beef. I'm in the middle of everywhere I look. There's corn, soybeans, and cows. I mean, that's all there is here. And so, when you talk about all this fish, it's like we have no water. I have no sinks. Oh, I'm not well. going to can. Billy is like Bill. Billy like lives at you know in the heart of all ocean land over there, and yeah. so does Laura. Laura, you have like a lot of no, water. I live no. in the. I basically live in the middle, middle of the state oh, of Alaska. Okay. But we travel every year. Um, mother, son. Yeah, I saw that. Trip. That was an awesome looking and trip. So, yeah, so we go halibut fishing and salmon fishing. Um, Every year, and we always are able to fill the freezer. So that's uh, that's and just one one of the many things that we do. And Laura pukes every time. I do. <laughs> Wait, you didn't get sick this time, though, right? I, I puked once, oh, and okay. after that, I was good. Okay. But yeah, oh no, no, that first one we did was terrible, <laughs> yeah, absolutely terrible. Oh, but the water God. was choppy. You said. Yeah, the water coming. Yeah, I might have had an accident coming on the this last trip. We'll find out how bad that accident was on that trip, but we'll see. Oh, oh my goodness! Uh oh, Rust is scared. Rust left. Uh oh, shouldn't have said you puke. Sushi. Sorry, Rust. <laughs> you shouldn't have said puke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it might have so, been sushi. So I need to know what everyone has had for dinner tonight because I haven't eaten dinner yet. I've been snacking on tomatoes. I've watched you. Yes. <laughs> I thought it was candy at first, but that's all right. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Debbie. Hey, here in Sandy, USA. Hey. Oh, my hey, gosh. Hi, Deb. I'm going to go send Debbie the link. Please do. Debbie, can you come join oh, yeah. us, please? She won't come up. She'll she won't come up. She won't Maybe she will. Coffee. Yeah, oh. but that's okay. I'm gonna send it to her anyway. <laughs> Debbie, you better come on. I had um a TV dinner. That's what I usually have for something. Well, uh, I would say about maybe like five hours ago, I had my homemade tortilla chips, and that's pretty much it. I've had some Starbursts. I haven't eaten really today. And the clocks go back tonight, too, for some of us. Yes. Oh, I thought that was yesterday. Uh-uh, today. No, today. Okay. Oh, that's cool. We got an extra hour. Laura, what did you have for dinner tonight? An hour. Um, it's only 5.30 here, so well, we no, haven't had dinner yet. If it goes what back, we get to an hour. You're right. What are we right. going to have? Sorry. Whatever because my husband back cooks. Bring forward. Hmm. Usually he cooks meat. Yes, he's a, he's a carnivore. He follows a carnivore diet, and although I have diabetes, I love my um, my carb diet. <laughs> but no, he uh, it just uh, he is the the cook in the house. I do not like to cook, um, so whatever he cooks is what we will be having. I don't like I to cook tonight. either, which is why this is my dinner tonight. <laughs> there you go. Well, I mean, like right now. I love tomatoes. That's a good dinner. I I've it. got Starbursts. Oh, I got leftover hi. Halloween candy. Um, <laughs> but I think later, I don't know what category. I don't know if it's meat, but if they're Hot Pockets. I don't know what you would consider them. So that's probably what I'm having later is some Hot Pockets. But as far as what nutritional value, don't ask. I don't I know. Have, I think I it's zero. Too. Oh, I'll Ooh, take one of those. I'll Ooh, take one of those. Good. So I'm I'm running a 5K tomorrow, and they gave us um, they gave us a goodie bag, and it's called the Hot Chocolate Race. And so they gave us a bunch of candy that says hot chocolate on it. That's oh, cool. cool. Isn't that kind of counterproductive? You know, run 5K and fill you up on chocolate. No, so not you... at all. What's the problem with that, Laura? <laughs> Seriously, did you really have to ask me that question? Uh, yeah, Is that wrong? No, huh? 
I it's know. Good. LaRose loves her chocolate. Yes, yeah, she does. Yes, yeah, she it does. Goes with everything. This is the only race I'm doing this year, and the only reason I'm doing it is because you get chocolate when you're done. <laughs> I'm How much saying. do you get? That's One? a good question. You get I mean, like um, you get you get a cup of hot cocoa, and then you get um, hi, like Gary. A, huh? Sorry, I was just saying hi to Gary. Oh, hi Gary. Uh, <laughs> Gary was on earlier, and he didn't want to come. He didn't want to come and hang out with us. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna go make dinner. Oh, there he goes. Okay. <laughs> so they give you hot chocolate. And then in the past, before COVID, they would give you this like um, like a fondue thing where they would give you this melted chocolate. And then they would give you like half a banana and like a piece of sponge cake and like all this stuff that you could dip into the chocolate. That oh sounds awful. God. That's it? I, that's they, it? They only gave you a half of a banana? Well, what the you, hell? you run 5K and you get a half a banana and chocolate, hot chocolate. That's the well best in thing Pennsylvania. Ever. It would be a, an entire banana. Well, so usually at the end of chocolate. Usually at the end of races, you do you can get a whole banana and juices and stuff like that. But because of Rose, COVID, I don't you, what. You missed it. What? Pennsylvania. <laughs> Pennsylvania. You get a whole banana in Pennsylvania. What does that mean? Am I like? I, past joke, past joke. I'm being oh. silly. In the town. What was the name of that town again? I don't remember. Dildo. I think Maravini remembers. Oh, dildo. Dildo. No, no, intercourse. Oh, intercourse. That's right. Dildo was exactly it's like I'm trying to be bad without not being too bad. <laughs> Work with me. Oh my gosh. Hold on, we got someone else coming in here. Hold on, guys. Oh, well, can you somebody to straighten me out? Sure, somebody just told you in the chat intercourse. Okay, okay. It's over there still, I think. I don't know. Oh, it's I lied. It's right here. Damn husbands. Remember, if uh, if this is eighteen and older on this this adult chat tonight, okay? So. Oh. <laughs> I'm Good sorry, thing. you can tell my mind is not in the gutter because I couldn't even remember intercourse. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, technically intercourse is not a, a bad word. It's a uh, technical. Technical. It's very technical. Yeah. Yes, but Laura, I told I don't know if you were here, but I said the word A double S on my channel one time oh. and a bunch of people like unsubscribed <laughs> because I was such a horrible person and said such bad language. So um. And you were, and were, I'm sure you were talking about a donkey at the time. No, I was talking about a mug someone gave me that had <laughs> the word A double S on it, and someone got oh, offended. No. Wait, hold to, on. I'm, I'm going to show you guys something. Hang on. If those same people watched even one of my videos, they would unsubscribe immediately. I just talk. I, I don't. It comes out. I might say a bad word every now and again in my videos. Classy, classy sassy, and a bit of smart ass. I love it. I like that. Hold on. Do you guys do you guys Everyone remember this? Hold that. on. You gotta see this. Oh yes. Oh yes. I like it. Oh yeah, I have one of those. <laughs> I like it. It's sassy. No, I didn't make that, but I commissioned someone, uh, Christine from Garden Yarns, and she made me four of them. And I showed <laughs> this on my channel, and someone got offended on that one too. So so you know Wait, what I said? Please, everybody. You know what I said to them? <laughs> <laughs> Talk, to the <laughs> Talk to the washcloth. Talk to the washcloth. Yeah. Oh my god. All right, you guys. You know, we actually, got Kim, but... we got Kim from Affordably Crafty coming in. Oh, where'd she go? Cool. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Hi. Hi, Hi, Kim. Kim. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Groovy. Hey, how are you? I'm having a gloriously child-free weekend. Woohoo! <laughs> Sounds like a guilty pleasure. <laughs> Anita wants to know if we've seen an unboxing of the Smart Ass and Sass subscription box. I've never there heard is of something it. called there is a subscription box for that. Yeah. It says smart ass and sass subscription box. 
Oh my gosh. They have I've talked funny... to a couple of people that do that and they said it's hilarious stuff you get every month. Oh, I might have to do that. <laughs> oh, it, it sounds right up my alley. Yeah. <laughs> we need I'm... more information, tell her. Anita, we need more information. Anita, oh tell my us gosh. more. I just found it, you guys. I'm looking okay. at my iPad and it says smart ass and sass subscription box it's snark and sarcasm delivered monthly well <laughs> no i need that it says welcome to the monthly subscription box that says exactly what you're thinking so your mouth won't have to each <laughs> each month you'll receive seven to nine hand curated items saturated with pure snark and sass it's a 90 dollars value box but let me see how much is it and then it's got a big banner that says, you deserve to last your, laugh your ass off. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I might have to get this. Okay, you can get, Laura, this is for you. You can get a shirt only subscription box for $15.95. Ooh. And then the, the one that they have pictured on here says, that's a terrible idea, what time? <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Okay, then yeah. you can get then you can get a box subscription for thirty four ninety five. It comes with eight to nine full size items. It says hilarious brands. Then you can get a big box subscription for forty nine ninety five. Everything in the box plus the t shirt. Oh, I might, have to, I might have to go big or go home. So right. I don't know. The t shirt one sounds like it's hilarious. Yeah. Well, you know me. I love my hilarious t shirts. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, and we love watching you open them. So in one of the pictures, it shows, um, like a tote bag that says, let's go. I've had enough waking hours for one day. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's me. Ooh, that's hey, awesome. Lisa, I am on first name basis with Santa. So, um, yeah, I'm good. Santa knows I'm good. <laughs> So Kim, you're, yes. Kim, you're teaching something this weekend? Tell us, tell I, us. I am. I'm teaching tomorrow at the Fiber Festival of New England, a workshop on crafting with unconventional materials. Cool. Oh, cool. Oh, so much fun. 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 Yeah. And I went so and what, hung out. So what's the unconventional material? Oh, geez. Lots of different stuff. It's basically a workshop on how to curate that stuff and tips for success with um, not yarn. Sorry. I love yarn. I use it all the time, but I also like upcycling, recycling, repurposing. No, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Big fan. Mm -hmm. So I went to the festival today, and then I went to Webb's, uh, which is only a half an hour from here. Sounds dangerous. And, yeah, and then I went to a LYS right up the street, and then I went to the Yankee Candle flagship place, which is like a maze. It was really cool. I had a good night. Good day. And I'm, I'm renting a room in a mansion, which is just so oh. swanky. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow, yeah. that's hey, someone, cool. someone says they're from Pennsylvania near the town of Dunmore and they're trying to get the town next door to change their name to did that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dunmore and that. that is so that's funny. Great. But it would have to be like, you know, like did that would be like one word. You know, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. That's so that funny. Is cute. And then someone listed a bunch of names of towns in Pennsylvania. Um, I can't, but you're not in Pennsylvania, are you? I'm in Massachusetts. Okay, whatever. Ah. <laughs> That's not even close. It's um, cool. Someone said that these are the names of some towns in Pennsylvania Intercourse, Middlesex, Slippery Dick, and Blue Balls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't come up with that. It was on there. Oh my God, who snorted? Oh, that was really? me. Was that you? No, no that was so, so much yeah, for sorry. So much for them being repressed. I mean, it comes out in other ways. <laughs> oh my God, that is so funny. So, so Kim, uh, you're a mass hole too, right? Correct, I am. All righty. I All thought. That, I remember talking to you and we did say that you, or you did say that you were a mass hole. So I am. Yeah. Yeah. Guilty. Yeah. <laughs> you, but you and um, Mama Swift are, are perfect yes. mass holes. <laughs> oh yep. my gosh. And Elaine, isn't Elaine in Massachusetts too? She is, but now we're not allowed to call Elaine a mass hole. Oh. 
Why? Okay, Elaine. Elaine Brown. Elaine what, what, Brown. Oh. What would I be? Subscribe to her. From New York? Mm, I don't know. What yeah. would you be if you're from New York? Um, I don't know. I mean, the only thing I could think of, like off the top of my head, would be a new porker. (laughs) You know, just just way off the top of my head. I mean, it just it has that ring. New porker. Well, well, yeah, we can call you new porker. I mean, I I love me some bacon. Oh Oh, yeah. Hey, as long as I can call someone a masshole, that's awesome. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my gosh. But like with Rose, what you're talking about before, like with the whole thing with the mug, it's like when I was way back, I was doing Aesop's Fables on my Mm -hmm. channel and I was getting flagged. From Aesop's Fables? Yeah, because because it wasn't a donkey. It was an ass. So I had to actually change it. I had to change the wording so that it was a donkey. Otherwise, it would get flagged for being inappropriate. Oh my oh, god. Oh lordy. Oh my god. It's like wow. context. Just so ridiculous. Context. I mean, come on. Seriously. Well, well apparently this this video is gonna get like thrown off of YouTube real fast if someone well, no, <laughs> catches it was, word it was, of what it was we're in the talking. title though. It was in the title of it. So oh, and I okay. actually had to change it. I'm like, you've gotta be freaking kidding me. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, or gosh. or you know the other word for rooster. That was another one I had to change. Oh, oh. yeah. It's like context. Come on, it was but a it traditional was part, word. It's part that of was the book. Yeah, but it was part of the book. I mean, that's right. The, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So I actually had to change it. Otherwise, I knew I was going to get flagged. So yeah, I had to change that. I had to change mm-hmm. donkey rooster. Um, there were a couple of them. I'm like, all right, I know this is going to be problematic, so I'm just going to change it. People will gather. It's the same animal, but I have to change it. Right. Otherwise, uh, the whatever. yarn hookers got one of their lives demonetized because they said the word balls too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we gotta stop with the swearing, I guess. I that guess. is balls. funny. <laughs> <laughs> wow, mm. that is crazy. I know. All right, <laughs> someone <laughs> e dream says. Pennsylvania equals penis Alvania. <laughs> penis Alvania. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh man. Well, this is a Saturday night, right? Mm. Every yeah. day, all the little ones are in bed, so that's fine. <laughs> They're not here. We hope. Yeah. We hope. We, we, at least we hope so. Oh my god. Yeah, she's in the mansion. She didn't bring them. Yes, yeah. Yes. Nice. Hey, Craig, okay, I'm you gonna... What are you doing with your hook? I wanted to see how Craig holds his hook. Oh. 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 We're all like, eh. Like a magic wand, of course. Have you seen his stuff? It's awesome. Yeah, you know, like, you know. Yeah, over. Yeah, you're over. Yeah. Wait, over or ogre? <laughs> <laughs> over, ogre. You know, it, you know I, I, I hold it like this. Like, yeah. um, but uh, no, it's like, I mean, when, when I'm, you know, like, you know, eating, it's like this, but when I'm crocheting, it's like this, you know, cause like, like when people eat their food like this, it drives me crazy, you know, but you yeah. know, like, you know, like, you know, that's like a chopstick yeah. right there. Yeah. Mm. I don't have another. Oh, there we go. Like, okay. You yeah. guys. So Crochet Every Day with Judy says, Craig, I'm currently reading Swiss Family Robinson on my channel, and I read the word ass all the time because it's in the story. And then she says, however, when I read Oliver Twist, I read Mr. Bates instead of how it read Master Bates. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Wait, it is better. Gary from Urban Yarn just said, I'm sorry, I had to take this conversation into the kitchen. We yarny peeps need to look out when we say ball sack or I'm a loose hooker. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, the snorting is real, people. Sorry, sorry. No, it's funny. Well, I was trying to explain to... 
I was trying to explain to somebody, it's like, yeah, that there are groups that call themselves the happy hookers. Oh, yeah. And they're just like, they were gobsmacked. I'm like, no, 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 this is a real thing. And they were like, no. I'm like, yes, no, no, no yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wait, isn't there a book um called um uh bitchin' stitches or stitching stitching yeah. bitches yeah. or yeah. something like that? Yeah. Stitch and bitch. Yeah. Stitch and bitch, right? Yeah. yeah. Laura Laura says, What did I walk in on? Oh Laura, if you um. all knew. <laughs> oh, there's there's Christine. Christine just joined. She's the one that made this washcloth for me. Ah, oh, awesome. Good work. Yes, Good job. Job. Christine. Her ears you got must have been burning. That, right? She must have been like, wait, someone's talking about me. <laughs> we were talking Actually, today about the traveling um, hook. You know, the traveling hook that's going around. Oh, yeah, yeah. And well, I was talking about moving this year. And they said, well, why don't you just go and spend a, a few months at everybody's house? I could go see Laura for two or three months and go spend time with Madonna. For I said, yeah, then I could be the traveling hooker. <laughs> <laughs> She gets around. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bitchin' stitches. Yeah, that's what it was. So um who so, um someone just came in. Um Kay from Kay's Crochet Haven just came in. Carrie the Yarny Elephant just came in. Hi Carrie. Hey Carrie. Hello. Cocktails hey, and crochet with Coco. Coco. Hey, Jan. Jan's in hey. There. Ricola's Crochet Corner. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Crystal. Hi. Hey. So exciting. So exciting. Hi, Maribel. Is Maribel in? Hi, Maribel. Hey, I can't yeah. believe the chat. So. How fun is this? Oh, my gosh. Ooh. All the really cool people are here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Daffy, Daffy, Daffy. Hey, oh Daffy. Oh, my God. Sin's Hi, Crafty Sin. World. Oh, you yeah. guys can all see the chat, right? Yep. Yeah. No. Oh, it took no? me a little bit, but I finally you have found to click it. on comments over on, on the right hand side, Billy. Up on there's, top where it says comments. There's oh, my okay. pudding. There you go. There hey, go. Gina. Hey, you know, if anybody is looking for somebody new to subscribe to. I hey, Crappy Yarn Out with Darla is here. Hi, Darla. Hi. Oh. Toe beans. Toe, Toe beans. beans says hi, hi Craig. Beans. I love your name. Hi, Toe Beans. Oh, and there's Tammy. What's a great name? Flower Creations. Flower Crochet Creations. Hi, Mirabelle. All Amazing. right. So so what's everyone doing tomorrow besides Kim? We know she's teaching. What are you, what is everyone else doing tomorrow? Well, same thing I do every day for a while. I'm just taking it easy. I'll be sitting right here. Um, yeah. Billy, what are you doing you tomorrow? I'm going to read a dirty videos. book. You're going to read a dirty book? Oh, my gosh. Well, can you do it, can you do Billy, it live? Dust it off. Can you do it live and just, you know. I could, I could crochet and, and read a dirty book at the same time. <laughs> oh, That's my not Billy. <laughs> you multitasker, you. That's me. So, what, Billy, yes. would, would that be uh, Fifty Shades of Ecru? <laughs> <laughs> That's great, great, great. I appreciate that. <laughs> Shades of Ecru. Oh my God. I love it. <laughs> Craig, do you have to work tomorrow? Fortunately, no. Well, okay, not in the conventional sense. I mean, I will be doing a lot of pre records for my other YouTube channel, Fiber Spider Games. I have to catch up on that. Uh, I definitely think I'm going to indulge and get myself some Chinese food. Mm. Um, Maybe That's run some errands. Are you going to have real sushi or the fake stuff? Well, no, I'm, I um, I used to go to a local place uh, for sushi, but every time I go there, they keep screwing up my order. So Ugh. that's what inspired me to like maybe try to make my own at some point. Um, so, but no, I'm talking like, you know, like generic Chinese takeout, like strip mall Chinese takeout. Like fried um, rice and wonton soup. Sort of, yeah. Okay. More or less. 
you know. I had um, Chinese food for lunch today with one of my best friends, and we had dim sum, and mm. I never had it before, and it was pretty cool. That was really exciting. Yeah. We're and, having uh, Chinese tonight. Yum. Yum Chinese. Nice. Mm. And I had uh, Singapore noodles. Oh, my God. That's my favorite dish ever. Oh, I've never had that, I don't think. Oh, you should try it. It's good. Mm. I mean, I, I, I love... Go ahead. I couldn't finish it all, so it's in the fridge, but now it's kind of too late to eat it, so that's why I'm just eating tomatoes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> E Dreams wants to know if does give me a beer, damn it, have a channel. Yeah. I'm see <laughs> yes, she does. Her channel name is I Madonna Ballard. Beer, but... Yes, Madonna Ballard is is <laughs> give me a beer, damn it, name. Hey, hey Jax, Jax is in here. Hi, hey, Jaxie Poo. Hey, Jaxie baby. <laughs> it was so much fun meeting Jaxie. Yes, it was. Kim, what I are you working on? I miss all of them. Hi to all the Sorry. zombies in the chat. I Kim, am, what are you working on? I'm doing a cow in this uh, Plymouth mega bulky yarn. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. But Rose, look at this. Do you see this <gasps> purple? Oh, that's pretty. You're going to make her leap through the screen. <laughs> you see, I have to get closer to see it. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Okay, Looks like a really rich beautiful. eggplant. Yeah, it is. Yep, it's super eggplanty. It's um a Kramer yarns that I got on clearance today. Ooh. For six bucks a hank. Mm. They're huge. What size is the yarn? Uh it's a super bulky. Okay. Oh no, it's a bulky, but I mean it's pretty big. I would say it's yeah. more like a super bulky, but oh it's huge. Hey, it's huge. Uh, how many yards in it? Kim, you got uh, some big balls there. True. I do. <laughs> you got some big blue balls there, girl. Uh, you're purple. <laughs> That's yeah, even yeah. worse. There's Sounds 130 cool. yards. 200 grams, 130 <laughs> yards. Now, I, Rose. I, have, I got Rose. a blue We're talking about blue I don't have a ball. That's what you dreamed. Is Craig blushing? This is also purple. I well, Rose has that effect on me, you know, <laughs> it's that influence. Just because I love you, Craig. <gasps> You're such a bad influence. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you made me tangle up my yarn. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, Billy. I didn't. Ugh. All right, guys, I'm going to have to sign off for now. Okay. okay. But Thanks I for will joining see you guys us. later. Thanks for love having you. me on here. Nice Bye. Love, everybody. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Do we have to say we love you? No. <laughs> you don't have to. Not unless you do. Yeah. I love all of you. I'm, Actually, I'm so excited yeah. that we get to like yes. chat like this. You know what I mean? Because we're all so far away from each other mm -hmm. that we'll yeah. never meet. I, I recently came up with an I uh I don't know how practical this is, but if you are reasonably flexible, um the 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 twisted hank that you had there, yeah, as opposed to like getting a um like a yarn swift or two chairs back to back or some poor schlep to hold up their hands like this for, you know, however long it takes for you to, un, you know, to wind uh -huh. up your yarn. I figured out a way of doing it um, yourself without any other tools. Do you put it around your neck? Nope. No. <laughs> Cause that's, that's what I do. No, you I you're sitting down and then you have your knees. That's what I you do. know, you have your knees up. And then you have that big loop of yarn uh, around your mm -hmm. knees. And that way uh, you can, you know, like expand or contract, you know, however big the the, the loop of yarn is. Mm -hmm. And that way you can be sitting comfortably. Well, again, it depends on how flexible you are. It's not, it's not for everybody, <laughs> um, you know, but I mean, that is a way that I've done it a number of times where I feel mm -hmm. like, right, I don't want to get up. I just want to, you know, ball up yeah. this hang of yarn and, that way you don't need the yarn swift. You don't mm -hmm. need the chairs. I've done the chair mm -hmm. method a million times over, but because I saw that you had some Hanks yeah. there, you mm -hmm. know, it's it's like, yep, you can just whenever. 
even if I was flexible enough, my boobs would be in the way. Yeah, well, that's my problem too. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, oh I gosh. can't say that I've ever had that problem. Yeah. It's okay. So, oh. oh my god! Someone else said you obviously don't have fat knees, LMAO. Oh my gosh! Fat knees, get so, out of here! So funny. Well, I, Laura I says like... some of us don't have knobby knees. Are you saying that Greg has knobby? Oh, look at his cool socks! Oh, those are so cool. What's Bunsen, on them? Honey, Bunsen honeydew and beaker. Yeah, ah, that's cool. Gotta love my muppets. But I mean, what? Whoever thought of the name Bunsen Honeydew? I mean, that that's just perfect. It's genius. Mm -hmm. Gotta so love good. Muppets. Hey, you guys! Mama G Gear is in the house. She just put up a video the other day. Um, I put it on my community tab, and it was how you can help YouTubers. Oh. And yeah, so if you guys want to have like, it wasn't completely comprehensive, but she had a ton of stuff on there. Bye, it, was, it was awesome. Mama G gear. Hmm. Thank you, Mama go, G. Go check it out. If you need the link, it's in my community tab. But everyone who's watching, there's 224 people. Go and check her out and subscribe to her. She's awesome. That's and it awesome. was like things like you know, watch the videos from beginning to end and don't skip the, the ad. I mean, I skip ads if they're like 10 minutes long because I ain't got time for that crap. But well, I got a 30 minute ad the other day. I was like, listen, Are you I'm serious? Not I love you, but eh, sorry, no. skip ads. Right. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, if it's just like, you know, two of those little short 20 mm -hmm. second ads, mm -hmm. just watch mm -hmm. them. I mean, go right. get a cup of coffee or mm -hmm. go take a piss or something and then come <laughs> back. Yeah, but well, I mean, and the thing is, I've mentioned that a number of times, like when I do a live stream, or whatever, I do mention that because a lot of people are like, oh, well, I can't afford to, you know, send you a super chat or a super thanks or whatever. I'm like, well, just the fact that you're here helps. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so, just the engagement yeah. helps. If you leave a comment, so um, comment if you, like, subscribe right, if you to share their it, the, the engagement, the right. engagement mm -hmm. totally helps. But also, yeah, I mean, if there's an ad, no matter what channel it is, if you like that channel and just you want to help support go. them, just mm -hmm. let the ad go. You know, right. like I always have the skippable ads on because I feel that I would be holding my audience hostage by doing those non-skippable ads. Yes. So I don't do that. And then the ones in the middle of the videos, I don't, I don't do, do that those. either. Yeah, I don't do Now, those. a while back, YouTube did something or another where they actually interspersed ads through all of your videos and if and you wanted to change it you would have to go into each yeah. one manually and i'm like i don't have the time for that but right. from this time forward You're i'm making sure that that's not the case right because I, it it interrupts the flow yeah mm -hmm. i don't want to do in, that when i was in youtube jail for that month they said that the worst thing you can do if if you really want to hurt somebody's analytics or whatever is watch a video in full and don't act have any interaction at all. Don't like oh. it. Don't share it. Don't leave a comment. Nothing. <sighs> and that screws up their analytics more than anything. Hmm. Yeah. So these people wow. that come in and give you a thumbs down and leave a bad comment, they're helping you. Yeah, that's yeah. the same. It's still oh, interaction, really? so that's yeah. fine. Mm -hmm. But I mean, no interaction good. helps. It, no mm -hmm. interaction is what hurts. Yeah. yeah, but like I've had so many thumbs down, like on my wings videos, and it's like just don't watch. Like, really? really? Right. It's a charity. Yeah. Just, just go away, please. Just go away. Right. <laughs> right. That's, That's, people. Too. Like, That's where I feel. Well, I mean, I've, I've had that happen watch. where I have like a really long video. It's like an hour long video, and then within five minutes, like there's a thumbs down. I'm like, obviously, you didn't watch right. the whole thing, right. so you're just coming in out of spite. And <laughs> you know what? <laughs> if if you got an issue. Here's a tissue, okay? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's like, on, baby. You know, it's like it's okay. You know, if if you want to be a stick in the mud, you know, there there's a puddle over there. Enjoy yourself. You know, it's fine. Everybody has their opinions. You know, that's fine. It's the same thing when people leave like mean comments. Like, mm -hmm. didn't your mother ever tell you if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all? Yeah, like, mm -hmm. that's how I grew up, and I don't understand like no one wants to hear it like mm -hmm. you're well, going to get blocked and deleted and no one's going to respond to you so rose yeah. i do agree with you however i think that 
um, the idea of the difference between criticism and constructive criticism is lost on a lot of people mm -hmm. where yes. they just feel like, oh, I'm just giving my criticism. Well, there's a difference. You know, mm -hmm. you can be tactful, you can be civil, or you can be not. Yeah. That's right. the nice way of putting it. Mm -hmm. um, you can be a you know, natural. <laughs> you could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of math holes out there. <laughs> you know, so the thing is, there's there's always multiple ways of saying the same thing, right. you know. Um, mm -hmm. Like you could say the exact same thing, but if you add a smiley emoji, it has a completely different connotation to it, right. you know. Um, it's, it's tricky, you know, but also, I mean, over the years, it's like, oh, I've gotten tons of very colorful comments, mm -hmm. um, but I just, I don't even respond mm -hmm. because then that, that would be like, you know, me engaging with that. It's like, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to go there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had someone watch halfway through and click off when they click off. That's an interaction. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hurt you nearly as much as if they watch the whole thing and don't react at all. Hmm. I had someone that was mad because I did the videos for ornaments for crystals, for crystal. Someone was like, I don't understand why you're doing this. I'm leaving your channel. And I was like, Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Don't watch it. Well, but Rose, it's your channel. You can do whatever you want to do. Right. But That's if right. you saw the title of the video and that was not something that interested you, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Seriously, right. go yeah. away. Don't <laughs> like, play. No one cares that you don't want to see it. Just go away. Just don't watch it. Yeah, exactly. My channel's a dictatorship. The only one who runs it is me. So if you don't That's like right. it, there's plenty of other places for you to be. Right, exactly. I don't understand. Sorry. <laughs> well, like when I, I I started recently doing a couple of origami tutorials. Yes, and, and I love I mean, them. Thank you. I did ask for some input. You know, it's like, is it something you guys would be interested in? Because I'm, I'm down with that. And um, I mean, so far it's gotten a really positive response mm -hmm. and it's because I'm not replacing my crocheting with origami. It's just like, right. it's, it's an additional thing. It's not like mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing crochet anymore. I am going <gasps> to do this, you know? So it's, it's, you know, instead of doing like, say two audiobook narratives during the week, it's like, all right, one of those, and then one of the origami. And that way it's like, it adds a bit more crafty flavor. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I remember at one point I gotten, I had gotten, got, got, received a comment. <laughs> yeah, Craig, have another starburst. Arena. Um, I got a comment, long, like, Craig. you know, why are you, you know, doing audiobooks? I came here for the crocheting. I'm like, well, uh. I started my channel with audiobook narratives and crocheting. Like, it, it's not a new thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I started the channel, they were in there. And so it's not a new thing. It's so that I can have, you know, a, uh, a variety of content and because it holds with my mission statement, which is the three E's, uh, enlighten, educate, and entertain. It's all in there, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not like I'm doing like reaction videos to something that I, I saw online. It's like, that. that's like, mm -hmm. that might be in the entertain if I'm, you know, entertaining enough with my reaction, but it's like, this isn't far-fetched. It's not like, you know, ghost hunting at 3 a.m. or <laughs> you know like it's it's on par you know mm -hmm. it's an audiobook thing and that way you can listen to it while you're stitching you know mm -hmm. and some people groove on it some people don't to each yeah. their own make sure you mention it in your title like there were a couple people that were like come crochet with me and you click on it to watch it and the whole video is diamond painting it's like <laughs> Yeah, they said that's very important. Yeah, I know, uh, title. J, -Hook, yeah. J Hook Crochet did a whole thing on when you start your YouTube channel, the the, the steps that you should go through. Mm -hmm. I went through none of them. <laughs> I didn't do any of the right things. Those are the things you're supposed to do. I didn't do any of them. But now I wish I had, oh, you yeah. know, taken, uh -huh. gone through the steps that she mentioned. 
but it's a good video if y'all want to uh, really yeah. good video yeah but billy mm -hmm. you have so many subscribers like what could you have possibly done different um probably would have set it up a little different um no maybe not maybe i'd be nice don't overthink it. I mean, just because someone said you should do A, B, and C doesn't mean you should do A, B, and C. Oh, yeah, yeah that's true. I mean, I know that, but I, there's more of the ins and outs of YouTube that I would have liked to have known mm -hmm. about, mm -hmm. you know. But you yeah. know about them now, so. I do. It took me three years now. Yeah, I know whatever. about them. Better late than never, right? Yeah. yeah. I got thrown in jail for a month. I wish I had not known. What happened more. with that, Madonna? What happened? It was horrible. It wasn't so horrible not being able to use YouTube, but Gmail is tied into YouTube. <gasps> and oh. so I couldn't get in my email. Oh, no. And all my, my whole life is well, in there. Google. Bill. All things are controlled by Google. Hmm. Yeah, my automatic payments. I couldn't keep up on my book work for the house. Nothing. Because I couldn't get into any of my Gmail. But what happened oh. was, okay, I was trying to think of ways to get new subscribers of things I could do that were different. And I was watching this um, <laughs> muckbanger. Oh, no. Oh, no. She, oh, no. She has like 10 million subscribers. <laughs> and she goes up by a million every time she freaking swallows. So I thought, oh, man. So I was Rose, don't, don't. No, Rose, Rose, it's food. Oh, yeah. It's food, it's Rose. Food. <laughs> it's food. Well, I was watching her. Just Get your mind out of the gutter, Rose. I saw that facial expression. <laughs> It's food. People eat large amounts of food. Yes. And so she, but she was also talking about YouTube stuff and what she does on her channel. And so that's why I kept watching her. And one day I was going through, she was eating away and jabbering and getting stuff all over her face. And I was going through her comments that she put in or yeah, on her video. And she had like, wow, I bet 300 tags. You know, tags? Where you can tags, you know, where you can t tag people. And so then when they do a Google search, mm -hmm. your video will come up. Yep. And I was looking through that and she has, you know, 40 million subscribers. And I thought out of those 40 million people, I bet some of them are crocheters. So I just cut and pasted all her tags. <gasps> and then I put them on my next video. Uh oh. And within a week, I was in jail because yeah. I didn't have a single tag that had anything to do with crochet. If mm. I had put in one tag that had something to do with crochet, I would have been fine. But I didn't think of it. I didn't I didn't know that much about tags. Oh. So I just cut and pasted hers and threw them in there. And wow. boom, the bots got me. Wow, that's crazy. So I had crazy. to go a month with no Gmail, no YouTube. Ugh. I could still go on on my phone, but I'm not savvy enough on my phone to be able to do anything but watch usually. So, yeah, it was horrible. It wow. was horrible. Mm -mm. Holy smackerels. That's yep. crazy. But I learned See, how I'm, to I'm... Shanks and I... Learned how, you know, I learned a lot of cool stuff in jail, so it was okay. But... <laughs> you learned how to make the, the Martha Stewart poncho? Yes. <laughs> I can crochet, so I was very popular. Everybody wanted a poncho from Martha Stewart. Did you make eyeshadow out of Skittles? Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's bad. I know. They do that in prison. No, I know. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm laughing. Yeah. Um, how do you know this, Kim? But yeah, yeah. It because funny. Steve likes to watch Locked Up on the weekends. <laughs> At first it was kind of funny, and then oh, when yeah. I kept clicking on stuff that that I didn't know Google owned, and I couldn't get in, I was like, oh. oh. Yeah, well, that they own everything. But right. no, what I was wondering is, I'm, okay, I'm not wishing for this, I'm not trying to invoke this, but I'm wondering what's going to be the next COPA Oh, no. oh yeah. What's going to be the next ad apocalypse, Copa? Like, what's going to be the next thing that's going to put all of us into a freak out? Yeah, I don't know. You know what I mean? No, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer. No, don't get me wrong. No, but you're, I, it's right. Just, it's, you're right. It's just that it it happens like every like couple of years or so, and then all of a sudden, 
like all of us have to like reconfigure everything mm. and it's like it's like the 1930s stock market it's like okay start up the oven i'm getting my head ready yeah. <laughs> well, like when they said that you couldn't have kids content and it was just a whole thing and yeah oh, i mean like during the ad apocalypse it was like and... if your stuff is too adult then it gets flagged and then if it's too much kitty then it's like oh well then it's for kids you know yeah. and because i know that that was a big going concern for you rose on your yeah. channel because of carrots you know yeah. And it was a big yep. concern for me because I'm like, uh, with my audio books, it's like, I do a lot of children's classics, mm -hmm. you know, I'm like, uh, I mean, I don't have anything colorful or, you know, charming about it. It's just like, no, it's a camera looking at a candle burning and I'm reading a story, that's it. But I still list some of them as being for kids just to err on the safe side. Um, but it's like, I'm just sort of wondering, it's like, okay, what's gonna be the next cog, you know, like, you know, the, the next, uh, you know, bit of sabotage that's going to be thrown our way. Yeah. You know, I'm just, I, it's always in the back of my mind, like, all right, we're due for another foobar. You know, what's going to happen? Well, that's why Carrots is no longer on my channel. And there's any video that she was in is now private. So no one can see her. But people have finally stopped asking to see her. It took well, like I'm a year. Ask. I'm, I will I say I miss her, but I I'm not going to ask. Do. I do. I miss her too. But people I are like, too. well, why can't she be on there? And I'm like, really? Because, because Kappa, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. She's doing fine, by the way. Well, she's so. all good. <laughs> I bet she's getting to be quite a lady now. Huh? Yeah. They change so fast and grow. Yeah. And that's why it's hard not to see her, but I yeah, totally well. understand, but. I get to see that beautiful face every day. So yeah. I don't really care yeah, if you guys like, do or not. In <laughs> all its mine. glory. Yeah. She's all mine. <laughs> see, when I, I do my lives on Saturday morning with Ginger, I the kids are always like, oh, mommy, what do you need? Just sit now. I want to say hi to everybody. Ooh. But I don't like do videos of, like for the kids, like those toy review videos or anything like that. I don't like do that stuff, you know? I, I don't know. I hope I don't well, get flagged But the algorithms, I mean, you never know when they're going to mm. think, you know, that what you did is construed as, as being for kids, Yeah. you know, like, you know, because if it's, if it's a robot that makes the decision, right. It's like, how can you trust that? Like, for instance, mm -hmm. with me doing Aesop's fables, it's like, really? You know, it had to be a bot. exactly. Uh -huh. You know, and I would try contesting it and then they'd be like, yeah, no. I'm like, what? So wow. you have to, it's like, it's easier to err on the side of caution. Um, mm -hmm. Because if you, if you assume anything, yeah, it'll bite you. Mm. Well, you know what assume means, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Making mm -hmm. ass out of you and me, baby. Mm -hmm. Got it. Mm -hmm. well, you said it again, Rose. Downloaded. You said it again. I'm unsubscribing. I said the, word. <laughs> the other day I was trying to download music to go with my slideshow. So I used the same song that was on YouTube, but I took it from somewhere else. Oh, they flagged it. Three seconds mm -hmm. was restricted. Same mm -hmm. song. Three seconds. So I tried it again, got the same. So I got two strikes. Oh, yeah. no. Did what something you should like do. that happen with Seta? Seta's music is no longer at the beginning of her, of her um, videos. They are, I couldn't believe it. And the same exact song that they have mm -hmm. on there. Wow. See, now when, when you do when you do your videos, I mean, I've had this happen before. See, what I do is I don't instantly make something live. Um, when the music is questionable, like you're not sure, um, it's like, you know, you, uh, you know, you upload the video and then you wait. You know, you wait a bit to see, you know, uh, like if, a like a, a flag is going to come in that way you don't get a strike that way you don't post it you don't make it go live mm -hmm. um and so you wait until you know like usually when they flag something it's pretty instantaneous because those bots are voracious you know oh they're like hungry. there must be a trillion of them they're everywhere Right. Yeah. So the thing is, is that, you know, <laughs> the, the bots are voracious. They will find, you know, if your video has copyrighted material anywhere in it, they will find it 
like that. So before you hit, you know, uh, you know, public, let it hang out for a little bit. And then if nothing happens, then post it. Sometimes mm -hmm. it happens like way after the fact. I've had videos where uh, it was like a video game and the music in the game was copyrighted and it didn't get flagged until like months afterwards. Oh, wow. But it was, it was a copyright flag that was like, all right, it just means that you're not gonna make any money off of this video. You're not going to get smacked for it. It's just, mm -hmm. no, you're not making any revenue. The revenue is gonna go to the person who has the music. I'm like, you know what, fine. Um, but that you want to be careful of that. That just happened. That just happened to me this week where I had used uh, music from the InShot app and I tagged it in the thing. And it's like a, a almost a one year old video. And I just got it like, whoop, nope, you can't have ads on it because of this thing. And I'm like, mm -hmm. it's from the app. It said I could. I'm like, oh. I guess that yeah. happened to Rosalie, where she had to change all of her videos and re upload yeah, that's them. That's what I just wow. Really I'm bad. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. She got copyright yep. on almost all of her videos. She had to go wow. back. But that oh was a, that was um, a fight between um, iPhones and the copyright, mm -hmm. music copyright. Mm -hmm. um, wow. It hasn't been settled, whatever music she was using. And so mm -hmm. she had to go and change them all. She had to take them all down, change all the music or take oh, it off. Oh man. It and that if was that the happened, same, same if that happened to me i don't know what i would do because i've got like a couple thousand mm -hmm. so i'd be like oh get the oven ready <laughs> so, <laughs> you know it's, it's like you ever see sanford and son yeah yes what was what was the what was the wife's name mm. oh gosh i'm thinking edith but that's the yeah. other that's yeah. uh, it, you know it's like yeah oh i'm coming yeah, sure. i'm coming oh <laughs> i'm coming oh <laughs> I always, I don't ever publish my videos right away. I always schedule them because I don't ever know like how long it's going to take for my stupid phone to even save them. And then um, let alone how long it's going to take YouTube to upload it. So yeah. like I could do a wings video and it, I couldn't even probably publish it for two days. So mm -hmm. sometimes, so yeah. I don't ever wow. publish anything right away. It's always usually the next day or, or something because mm -hmm. I just, no, I hear you. I mean, some of the video game videos, I mean, it's like, I think like four or six gigs and it will literally take sometimes as much as like 12 hours to upload. Wow. But that's from your phone, right? No, that's from my PlayStation system. Oh, your PlayStation system. Yeah, because it's from my gaming channel. I mean, as far as the, the crocheting videos, usually it doesn't take that long. Yeah. Craig, the name is Elizabeth. Everyone mm -hmm. keeps on saying Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. For Stanford and Sons. Stanford and Sons' wife. wife's name? Oh, thank you. Elizabeth. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth! Because <laughs> I, knew, I knew it wasn't Wheezy, because Wheezy was from the Jeffersons. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Elizabeth! <laughs> Duh! <laughs> So you guys, it is, it is nine, almost nine 30 here. And I have to be up at four o'clock in the morning to go to this stupid race. Uh, so I can get, some get chocolate. chocolate. It's not, if, it, if there was no chocolate, then it would be stupid. Yeah. I know. I know but chocolate. Huh? Good luck. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Yeah, I got, I got you my, it. I got my new, where is it? This is the swag that we got for the, for the race. It's the hot chocolate race. Oh. But my girlfriend, if I'm not out the door, like right when she gets here, she's going to kill me because she's driving. So, uh, and I well, have good to go. Good rest. Work. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so, we have, so I think I have to, I think I have to end it because I'm leaving. And that means that you all have to yeah. go. Too. <laughs> no problem. Well, thank, thank you for you. having us. Thank, yeah, you. thank you. Oh and I'll gosh. send you some prizes for wings. Okay. Mm. Oh, thank you so much. I, mm. I'll put down that you're going to do a, a damn it doll for me. Thank you so okay. much. Yeah. You're welcome. You you are so Have sweet. a great night, everybody. Yes. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye, old lady. <laughs> <laughs>